here to talk about top video games today, which, um, I don't know about you, Shiggy, but I had a really hard time with this. Yeah, I have honorable mentions. We have a lot of honorable, I mean, I have a lot of honorable mentions because there are just some games that we have to talk about that we couldn't fit into the top 10. Um, yeah, I, we have a lot to talk about, so I think we're just going to, I'm going to jump right in here just because we have a lot to, to talk about and we'll be here for a while hanging out and I'm excited since Wednesday or when did I try to stream? Tuesday didn't work out. So yes, shout out Shiggy for fixing my computer in time for this. And I'm very excited to talk about it. So yeah, yeah. I think we're just going to, we're just going to, uh, go just start trucking along here. I'm excited. This is going to be a fun one. Um, hopefully, um, I don't think there should be like too many spoilers or anything. I used a lot of like early gameplay and trailers, and uh, so it's just we're just here to bring awareness. If you haven't played any of these games, a lot of mine, a lot of these are linked below, and um, I'm sure we can get a link or or you can Google any others you're interested in. Yeah, and we're we would love to know yours, and just yeah, you know, play along with us if you will. And Shiggy, you're gonna start us off with okay. Gran Turismo 3. Yeah. Which we we've, we've been playing the new Gran Turismo and that's really my only Yeah, the this only game one I've ever played. I thought uh it was um a crazy mix of like racing and RPG and I've, I'm like super into RPGs. And then of course like the Japanese like jazz music all over the place. I was like a sucker. For this, and I, I was like of the opinion forever that Gran Turismo was better than like any other racing game, but I feel like, yeah, it has shifted, and now like Forza is probably the best. But I spent so much time when I was like, I don't know, 15 or something, and I was at my mom's house at the time with the PlayStation 2, and there was Gran Turismo 3, and I just like jammed on this game. I had to have at least like 100 hours in this game. Hey. Nice. Yeah, you can like skip around in the Let's Play too. It doesn't have to like for all these really. I intended for you to skip around because they're all very long. Oh, you know? okay, okay, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it down a little. Yeah. Bear with us while we init do initial audio stuff. Um. Yeah. So yeah, this. I I really like the new one. It's just so. In I mean, we were commenting on how like <laughs> original it is. Yeah. The and. The blend of like racing and RPG is what got me, and how like the cars were kind of your stats and level and stuff, and you actually had levels and like licenses and stuff. It was always uh, really cool, and these graphics at the time like blew my brain off. I was like, I'm like never gonna look better than that. So, like, never gonna look better than that. <laughs> yeah. It was like 2000. One, two thousand two. And like the way the cars handled and everything was so cool. And they actually used to have damage models, like you would like I keep watching it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um It it was awesome. And the amount of cars they had was so crazy and how you could like customize them all. Or the Fiat Oh yeah, they had so many cars. I remember always getting the car that my parent had at the time, and it was always in the game. Like no matter what, their car choices really slimmed down over time. Really? That's yeah. I mean, you would think it would go up. I know, but the like, my take on it is like the increase in graphics is like a decrease in the amount of things you can do. Like they're focusing so hard on graphics, you can only put in so many cars. But then you look at Forza, and they're like, we have nine hundred and seventy-five cars, and I'm just sitting over here with Gran Turismo Seven, like. There's hundred cars Joe, in this game. Welcome in. Pork chop sandwiches are very good as well. But yeah, Super Mario World is one of my honorable <laughs> mentions, good sir. Super Mario Super World. Super Mario. Yeah, it's absolutely and I it's it was really hard not to I tried to Super fit Mario it in. Super Mario too. That's Super, so good. Yeah. That's have, my favorite Mario's. Yeah, Shiggy has a has a Super Mario on his list. Of, yeah, I the best spoil. one. Yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, Super Mario World is my favorite Joe as well. Great choice. Well, welcome in as well. Pork we are chop talking sandwiches. about <laughs> That's an sandwiches. old like meme. Uh, um, okay, here we go. I wanted to get to a race. I wanted to at least show a race. 
This actually looks familiar. I probably played it at some point. I don't know. Yeah, this game was killer. Like, the way all the cars handled differently and stuff, like, blew my yeah. mind. And I remember thinking, like, <laughs> when I can, like, see the steering wheel and the dude driving it, like, that's going to be we peak like video that. games. <laughs> you do like... I don't know and how now you, you can do that in Grand Theft racing. Auto. Oh, it's amazing. I don't know it's how like you It's like the way it. to play. No. Third so person hard. is, like, such a cop-out, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm such a purist. GT was my number one racing game of all time. That's a good oh, one. Oh, yeah. Grand Turismo. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And Which one? Because mine was mine was number three. That's my favorite. That's the pick. Yep. And we're yeah. I like the new one a lot too. But I can understand like going if it, if they like went backwards. You know, <laughs> like I can. They regressed in. But I, I feel like most game like the Elder Scrolls did that. Uh, but they like also it just improved happens. on things, at least. Yeah, I don't know. definitely. It's uh, they made it huge improvements in other areas, but like content suffered. That's yeah. It's kind of like what is most important to you, I guess. And yeah. You can't really start cutting things. Well, that's the problem. Once you start introducing something, you can't take it away. It's yeah. It's harder to take it away anyway. Yeah. I mean, I like, remember you have to replace it with something equally good, or like make some like the thing that you didn't do it for has to be like good enough to yeah. make you not care <laughs> and it never is this is when I, I remember when I was playing like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit which is almost oh, honorable that's mention my for me racing game. Need for Speed 3 Hot um, for, Hot Pursuit. It, it, this is like the the simulation version of that game essentially like I was always in Need for Speed thinking like man I wish I could like take this car back to a garage and like paint it and change yeah, the engine and like that's I like the game. garage stuff. Yeah, and I you love the garage And you, like, stuff. earn money and, like, have to buy cars. It's, like, a very cool take on it. That's, but like, yeah, my favorite like... thing about GTA also. <laughs> I, just, I just, like, changing all the car stuff. I spend so... And GTA Five, like, when they introduced that you could do all that stuff to your car, it was just, like, I spent so much time in the garage. The music, like, slaps so hard. It doesn't have to go as hard as it Grand does, Turismo but it does. Grand Turismo does have the best, ga like, soundtrack. Like, the music is always so good. And it's yeah, really the just, like, classical oh, yeah. music. Physics was built from specs of the car yeah. manufacturers. Like, that, that, yeah, like, Grand Turismo cool. actually works with, like, all of the car manufacturers to make sure they drive right, which that's is another thing cool. they always did. Yeah. And that's why they always claim it took so long was because, like, they're working with all these different companies to try to get stuff approved. I'm sure it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah. But they get a cut from this. Like, this is free marketing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they want to make sure their brands and cars are represented correctly, you know, yeah. as a company. Yeah. So, it, like, takes time. I love that Michelin just does, like, supercars and restaurants. Like, what? I know. It doesn't really make sense. Oh, my gosh. I remember this screen in particular so much. The rims, like... I would just spend forever in the wheel shop. So That's much cool money map. wasted. Yeah. Their menus also always have to be like four layers deep. Like you have to yeah. not know how to get to any screen. <laughs> like that's another telltale sign of the early Gran Turismo's. It's like you have to know everything how is four menus deep. You even play it. Oh, memory card slots. Like what a burden Shout to gamers cards. that is. <laughs> They're like, just just manage a, a, some some memory slots here, and then we can get on with this. Mm. You're like, what? This is my pick. Oh, didn't know that that this guy was in it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh. We'll just oh, use freeze no. frames, right? We can just use freeze, freeze frames. frames. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I. What? I did not. I I don't know. Maybe I like. You can the just wrong pull up a thing. new YouTube. You can just pull up a new YouTube window and maximize that. I swear this isn't this. the video that I linked. It's okay. We just... Oh, shit. Son of <laughs> a bitch. Okay. Da, 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 da. Jason. Da, 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 you gotta da, fix this shit. Da, seriously. Da, I'm sick of this shit, da, 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 da. Jason. Jason. You're gonna get fired after this. He's <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Wolf Among Us, <laughs> which rest in peace, Telltale. Rated M for mature. 
Telltale was one of my favorite developers, but they ran themselves bankrupt doing fucking every franchise there they hasn't could. Been a murder in Fable Town in a and they long just time. released like some brevs, uh, some brevs, Do some job, devs Sheriff. branched off, we'll find and the second can. one is coming out soon. I didn't kill her. Believe me, right? But it's basically it's based off a comic series where it's like gritty fairy tales, basically. People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. Like she's yeah. Bloody Mary. This was the first Telltale game I played, I think. I made you play this. This is my what favorite kind one. Of monster would do this? Yeah. I just don't understand. Ugh. It is really cool. It's like Heavy Rain, but a comic book. The like, art style is amazing. The yeah. voice acting is amazing. The world, like just the universe is cool to me. I love fairy tales and it's just a really cool take. Like that guy, the club owner is Georgie Porgy. They're all fairy tale characters. Yeah. We need to do things and they can turn into their characters, but they're supposed to not like it's kind of like heroes or something like that where they can't like they're not supposed to they're supposed to be in human form all the time. Yeah. It's an amazing game. I highly recommend it. Great soundtrack as well. Yeah, this game was good when I played it. If you've never played a Telltale game, it's a decision-based um, decision based game. Oh, I, no. Oh, okay. I always find myself in, in Telltale games wanting to, like, have the ability to do something and then go back and do another thing. But I know that goes against the whole point. But I, like, want to explore the content so bad and... I never end up replaying them, you know. I just do like one play. Yeah, I think you should because that's one of the best things about decision-based games in general. Because what I like to do before we get into this next one is that like I'll play it like the right way, right? Like the way that like I don't know a good person would play the game, and then you go back and you play it as like a villain or like I don't know, like the character I played in Mass Effect just didn't give a shit. And it was so fun to play that way. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it's just like, it's obviously like, you know, but it's, it's fun when you first play something to see like how it would play out when you, how you would normally play it. But it's definitely, it got replayability. And that's one of the reasons I like decision-based games a lot. I like uh, in The Walking Dead, how they like tied them all together and made decisions from the first one, like impact the last one and yes. stuff. I really, that's what I... I like the most about what they did is because I find in a lot of those like decision based games, I'm unsatisfied with the larger picture or like the larger narrative, not shifting enough, you know, like disco Elysium is like the opposite of this, where you can do like a very tiny thing and it changes like everything. Um, but most games, I feel like you do something extreme. I feel like mass effect suffers from this a little bit, even though I love that game, but it's just like a very small criticism. Like, you'll go up to the captain and be like, hey, what's up, asshole? Why don't you eat some cock meat? And he's just like, <laughs> wow, Shepard, I didn't. Uh, uh. And, and then, like, it's 20 minutes from then, you're still on the planet blasting when, like, really you should be in a meeting about telling your boss to eat cock meat. Like, <laughs> I guess, like, I just wish. It, and then you could Not just, like, enough. he loses his military position and he's, like, <laughs> you know, drinking and, like, gaining weight in his house. And, like, you know, it could be a whole different game. But, like, I don't know, maybe I'm too ambitious. But. <laughs> I always found it, like, sad. The larger narrative didn't shift enough when you did, like, wild extreme things. I think Telltale does a good job of that. Like, it does punish you pretty hard if you don't... I don't want to say the right thing, but, like, it makes it... They make it pretty hard to, you know, make bad decisions on purpose in Telltale games because they really make you pay for it. Yeah. So... And I, I also think Telltale does well that you... I feel like in most decision-based games, you only have two options and it's like extreme, like Mass Effect. You're like either huge asshole or like saintly lord. Yeah. Right. And and like there's gray areas like, and, yeah. and Disco Elysium does this really well too. Like most of it is gray area. There's, there's very little extreme. And so it makes yeah, it hard right. to discern like the right path and like, is there even a right path or yeah. is it just like branching webs of stories, you know? Yeah. I'm definitely a gray Jedi, but lean Sith kind of thing so i do like yeah, that i think kind you're of like 80 percent sith <laughs> yeah. i think you're like sith minus the murdering younglings yeah unless, i draw the line at murdering I don't know. younglings younglings i don't know <laughs> that's where i draw the line i could i could picture it wow depends on the youngling i guess i don't know 
Yeah, the fact that you even say that is pretty indicative. I'm of kidding. That. I'm kidding. <laughs> Depends on the little shit like youngling. I mean, Depends if they bad mouth me that day or not. I don't know. Are they being a little sass mouth or <laughs> did they deserve it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, moving on. I don't know anything about this game, so you're gonna have to talk about it. I've never heard of it. So. Oh. Like... Um. Yeah. So siphon filter. Talent. Siphon Filter was like, I guess an alternative to like James Bond, like, but it's more like tech y kind of. It was an original IP oh. for PlayStation um, by 989 Studios, yeah. And, um, oh, I like that. Yeah, That's let's style. just watch. Let's just watch the opening cinematic, maybe. Okay. I like that style. It's old, but like, it was very cool in its time. It looks like it's early like, Telltale almost. Yeah, it's like very early PlayStation 2. I'm, it might have been almost a launch title. PlayStation 2 had some great games. There's a lot of PlayStation 2 stuff. No, this PlayStation 1 actually, sorry. Oh. Siphon Filter and Siphon Filter 2 are PlayStation 1. And this is the second one. Damn, you, that's good like, for PlayStation 1. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As many of you know, four hours ago, a nuclear missile was detonated over Kazakhstan. The Kazakhstan government assures us this was an accidental launch and that the missile was destroyed via their own safety countermeasures. An investigation is underway. Yeah, it's like president stuff right away. Sir. Very high espionage, but you're like a secret agent, dude. Ooh, I would play this. Yeah. It's like kind of a blend of Metal Gear Solid and like... You guys made the um, news. The agency doesn't like it when I don't the operations know. go public. Or so I thought. Goldeneye. Perfect Dark. Yeah. Perfect like Gold dark. Knife. Oh, that's one I should have put. I spent so much time on Perfect Dark. This is a blend of like Perfect Dark and Metal Gear Solid. Oh, I love Perfect Dark. The story is so confusing. I remember being 15 just going like, what in the fuck? Did Hideo Kojima write it? It's worse than that. It's worse. Oh, no. And that's the protagonist guy, Gabe. Gabe. And she's like Gabe? a she was like a traitor lady that was like your comms lady. She was like t teaching you everything. Oh, and she's like, go there and like steal shit. And you're like, I. Ooh, spy shit. I love spy shit. Oh, yeah, it's spy shit. want to watch James Bond. <laughs> <clears throat> it's very James Bondian. Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we yep, have even more James Bond. Well, looks like you made it. Yeah, the, I remember, like, the movement of the character being so fluid, and, like, I just spent hours playing this level, actually. Like, and you, I would just farm guns and stuff. It was so fun to play this game. You have, like, this air taser that you can set people on fire with if you hold it long enough. Oh, he's just running. He's, he's blowing past these guys. <laughs> I did not know that was an option. I don't give a shit about your machine guns. Wow, he just, like... <laughs> What the fuck? That's one way to do it. <laughs> this guy's speedrunner? I appreciate shit. the Indiana Jones-esque way of to handle that. Forget about it. That was like a... Now they're friends? Oh, they're friends. Okay. But he just started shooting? I'm confused already. Yeah. You were just shooting at me, right? This game is so good. All right, I'm gonna... <laughs> this makes me want to play Goldeneye. Even though I'm not good at it. Oh, I think you could play as her in this one a little bit. That's right. She's like a fucking, like, stealth spy. Which is another good honorable mention oh, that I, I thought design. about putting it on there. But it's just like, I got to stop. I have to stop. Yeah, it was hard to narrow <laughs> it down. It's so hard. There's so many good games we'll, we'll shout out along the way that we did oh, include. He, he was providing cover fire and they caused the cave in. Yeah. Oopsies. Oops. Oh, I remember this level too. Yep. God, this game is so good. I wish they did like an updated version of Siphon Filter. I would play this if they did. It would it would be destroyed. It wouldn't work. Providing cover and cause the cave in. Oh, I see. Well, they were like shooting at him and he was like, hey, what's up after? <laughs> you get like a bunch of really cool weapons in this game too. I remember like the weapon list being pretty cool. Right. Yeah, you, you, you talk about Oh yeah, all oh, the shit. parkour. So parkour. much parkour. <laughs> it was crazy. That's like the Metal Gear Solidness. Yeah, I get a lot of Metal Gear Solid from this. And the running is so weird looking now, but I remember like thinking like that's exactly how somebody runs. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. 
This I'm is watch out for on. those guys. Oh yeah, oh, what? Yeah. My boy is fucking cracked. John My Wick boy. up here. John Wick. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. It was like a ten minute firefight. Like... For the t like, I can see how these graphics were like mind blowing for sure. Yeah, they were astounding. You know how it's not really broken English. Yeah, I don't think uh, this game is American. Nine Eight Nine Studios. Oh. But like, Hideo Kojima games are very broken English translations sometimes, and it's pretty funny. Man, so much like. Memories. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, oh, and twist. So you guys are terrorists. Oh, but Final you're really, fantasy. but you're really not. And like, yeah, like the reticle gets bigger the closer the target is. Wow, just sneak right past that guy. Okay, this person's <laughs> way better at this game than I am. Just went. Oh, this is so cool. This is like the turn. Like, this is when they find out, like, he's been a spy. I love an air vent moment in a spy. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Like, yeah. They definitely were among the first, I think, to do that. Maybe not. Maybe there was, like, air vents and, like, Doom and, like, Duke Nukem and shit, probably. But Metal Gear Solid did it the best, in my opinion. You think he had someone on the inside? You think he had someone on the inside? And it's, like, so, like, oddly paced. Yeah. Iconic. But let's find out. I spent a like, lot of time on Goldeneye for sure. Oh, there's oh, oh. <laughs> almost got hit by car there. Oh, I love no, the, I love the gunplay in this game. It was so good. Yuri, it's me, Leon. Why are you He's like, running? oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna done. keep running. I'm gonna keep running. <laughs> I remember this level too, man. I remember all of this. I played through it so much. Oh, the Russians, those fucking Russians. I remember her pistol sucked. Like, Logan's the main character, so it was way better. Oh! Sneaky. That's what you do. Are you kidding me? This guy's teaching me shit, like, all over the place. I just fought this guy, like, and died a million times until I killed him. Oh, but he can't see you. He can't see you if it's dark. It's very cool. God. Oh, the night vision looks so cool. I remember the night vision. He's like, I did not come prepared for fighting in dark at night time. Where are you? Oh, done. Shit. You done? You done. You got shot in the head. Bop. I got, got him. Are you all right? Got him. He wasn't prepared for the I night fight at friend, night. <laughs> I want this place shut oh, down. Oh yeah. All oh, the music. I repeat, da, 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 do not da, da, let Logan da, 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 da. out of here. It's like a yes, Walmart Metal Gear Solid. You That's how I view this game, but it's like you amazing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, rooftop stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy had armor that you could not shoot through, no matter what you oh, did. Oh, yeah, he looks... Oh, like my him. God. The, you had to, like, get him to step into a plane rotator, like Indiana Jones, or a little plane blade, like no Indiana deal. Jones. Okay. It was so hard to do, too. You had to, like, use a, a high-level shotgun to, like, stagger him back a bunch. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, Some the UI is so shit. cool. The spy shit. That's Good how I want my messages at work. Oh my god. Nope. And <laughs> Clark! <laughs> Dude, the this danger guy. meter. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> He's not just not wasting the, any time. I can't look at the run now without laughing now that you've pointed it out. I was like, this is peak realism. It's like splaying, like it's like the feet splaying to either side is cracking me up. It's like the top, the middle is just not moving at all. The center of gravity is perfectly balanced. Wow, he's just mag dumping Boom. on this fool. Oh my god, what is he even using? I don't even remember this gun. It's cool. All right. It's like nine hundred oh, bullets a dead. second. The taser game. Yep, oh, I already done. mentioned that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oh, we got a Marvel post credits. Yep. Got a Marvel. Scene. Flash is gonna be in the next one. <laughs> That's like the president or something. It gets confusing. Uh. 
Ah. Okay. Okay, hold on. I can't skip too far ahead of this because I would like you to see the beginning. That time in the hotel. Okay. If yes, I can filter Joe Fox. Hey, you Joe Fox. The Taser game. Siphon filter. Yeah, that was Shiggy's pick. We're moving on to Silent Hill 2, which I'm sh those of you who have been around here this in the is... neighborhood, it's I have talked about it a lot. It was on my favorite video game soundtrack list as well. <sighs> is this number in... eight? Uh, you... Just to make sure. I, I don't remember. Nine, maybe? Yeah. I think this is nine. Okay, let's say nine. Yeah. Um, number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, no. if you've never played any of the Silent Hills, and I think you can play this if you have an Xbox 360, because they came out with like a bundle. Um, Silent Hill 2 is one of the best games of all time. It's certainly the one of the best horror games of all time. It's my personal favorite. You said you took everything. It's a very good one. You forgot that videotape we made. One day when I learn violin, I want to learn all of the songs that I have violin in it, because there's a lot. I feel like Japanese studios make like such crazy horror movies and games, like different level stuff sometimes. And then you have this, like <laughs> it's like pop rock. It's uh, reminiscent of like Twin Peaks a little bit, even yeah. though like the music's not the same. It's just like the mood being off. Yeah, mood's very. And you're just off. like, I don't, I don't know what this is, but I think I'm gonna have a nightmare about it later. <laughs> Like every Silent Hill game. Yeah. But yeah, this this game gets pretty crazy. It's kind of hard. Like, I remember going back to it and the controls are freaking hard. Oh, yeah, because you have to turn the character with the D-pad and like go forward oh. with up no matter the direction. It's like absolute <laughs> movement instead of relative, I think. Yeah. And, it's like, so hard to do the, now. There's no, like, you know, we're all used to having a rotating camera now. Mm -hmm. There's none of that. It's hard. The, but the fixed camera angle plays into the horror. Like, you not being able to swing the camera allows them to craft better horror moments because you won't be able to see something coming. Yeah, you it's know? true. But yeah, like, Resident true. Evil is the prime example of that, like, old Resident Evil games. Like, them controlling the angle and, like, zombie popping out, you'd be like, Jesus Christ! Good old tank <laughs> controls. <laughs> It's, yeah, tank controls for sure. But like they they use their setting really well. There's no music. It's quiet. Or like just like static sometimes, and very, like distant like howls. Yeah, it only uses diegetic noise. And the static from the radio, which tells you that a scary thing is about to kill you. Oh so, god. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> This was one of the first games I played, and it was just like, it blew my mind. I stayed over at my friend's house until we beat it. I played it when I was staying over at my friend's house, too, Silent Hill 1. And I was like, holy shit, I am so scared. I remember walking to his bathroom at one point at night. I think that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> oh, Until I've Dawn is great. I, I, that's, a, that's a good one. Does that a bit? Yeah. Zombies, Zombies turning shit <laughs> into an Aussie. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your bride, mate. <laughs> Come over oh, here, yeah, I wanna munch on this, your flea. This guy is super weird. Honest. I did see Just... some weird looking monsters. Yeah, <laughs> you would. You don't look so good, buddy. Oh, the music is so good. Oh, yeah, the music. This place isn't too safe either. I think. happened here anyway? Oh, it's like anvil noises and shit going on in there. It's like so crazy. I'll leave you. I'm gonna leave you to that. Sir. You seem like good. <laughs> I'll leave you to that. So I'm gonna go check out like the hospital. I think I'm gonna go to this creepy ass hotel. Like, oh, the apartments. I remember being in for a really, really long time. It's so good. Oh, this bitch following you around. I just ate some Papa John's. <laughs> oh yeah, all the puzzles were really hard. I remember. I yeah, the, you had to like look these up when you couldn't, because it was like we you couldn't look it up. Gamefacts.com, baby. I didn't you have a look phone. It up. I mean, not a phone. It's a computer. I didn't have one of those at my disposal. Oh. 
my friends had them. I didn't nope. have a computer till I was like, I don't know, 17. But like my friends had them at their house. So we would just go to gamefacts.com and be like, how the fuck? And oh, this have to map read. gives me hives. The, wow. Those little squiggly lines, man. Because they wouldn't tell you. You'd have to like find that out on your own. It's like all Yeah, it end. would fill out while you were Ugh, playing it. Yeah. There's been so many times where I'm like, I am definitely on the right track. And then you get the little squiggle line. And it's just like, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, hi. Oh, that little girl. Oh, that little, mm -mm. little fucking bitch. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm trying to find... Oh, God. I, I think the first time you see her... I, mean, I, was trying, I guess I skipped past it. Well... <sighs> oh, God. When you fear... Makes me so nervous. Speaker. Like, that, that radio noise, like, gives me... Nightmares, like more than the siren sound, like I, the static, because no, it means siren. like shit's getting real. There's no like siren. radio means like radio static means not the world's messed up. Like right now is messed up. Like you have to deal with it now. Yeah, no, it's definitely yeah, unnerving for sure. <sighs> but like the air raid siren is not in Silent Hill too. Thankfully, because that really? I don't know air. Yeah, no, there's not. Huh. It just turns into like... I think there might be like... I don't remember when it actually happens, but there's it's not like prominent that I remember. Yeah, it's just like happens once or twice. It isn't featuring that until later, I want to say, or maybe Silent Hill 1, I'm not sure. I don't know, honestly. I feel like it was always in the series, but I'm not sure. Like maybe when things go to shit, I don't know, but it's really not as loud. <laughs> I don't remember it as much in this one. Mac SE when I was a kid didn't have internet until my early teens. Same. Yeah. Oh, it's on my honorable mentions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh no, I'm trying to get a pyra pyramid head moment. Ugh, red blood uh, room. Uh, oh, the sounds. The sound. <laughs> I love the sounds of this game. All the sounds of the old PlayStation games is, are so good. Somebody needs to bring that back. Yeah, I would like that. Those are sick noises. Oh, this is a fun cutscene. The Nintendo Wii also had a ton of like really satisfying noises. I guess Nintendo is always really good at like their console having really satisfying noises and design. Except the Wii U. Ugh, the Wii. No, the Wii was fine. The Wii U. I even the Wii was a, the Wii's design software wise was really good the hardware was like terrible literally me after taco bell <laughs> yes yeah, uh, like the, every time you run into this dude it's just worse and worse you're like oh he's got a gun now uh oh he's got a gun <laughs> crazy unstable he's like i gotta go pick up my kids you're yeah, like, like, oh you have kids oh. okay <laughs> All right, I gotta go to work. I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh oh. Maybe start with yourself. Everybody. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, have you gone nuts? Yeah. Maybe. I think we're at that point. If we're not a solid no on that response, like, <laughs> probably need to investigate a little further. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Uh-oh. Whoa! Hey! You're like, Jesus Christ! Like, all of a sudden, it's a boss fight. Ah. Uh, I got a katana. Oh, Ooh. God, he shot me in the neck! That's Boom. okay. I'll bop him. Boom. Bop him. Twist it. Bop it. <laughs> if you have to ask someone if they've gone nuts, for one thing, the odds of them being self-aware of the same of you is not being shot. It's fair. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. If you have to ask, full stop. You can't you probably... afford it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get... I might have to go backwards to find a pyramid head. Ugh. Music makes me sick, like in a good way. Yeah. Like with the pitch, like microtone stuff going on. Very distorted. It's like chorus effect, but pushed to the max and really slow, and it's like actually changing the pitch by sense. So it's like very uncomfortable because it's not a full half step. 
really don't like and it. And it sounds like the elevator, too, if you, like, think about it. That, like, sound is elevator which is good for a hotel. Or wherever he is. Yeah. Oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, I won't let you. Hey. You to die too, James. Hey. This is pretty. That's simple. very rude. <laughs> uh oh, it's fine. This is. Uh, a pain I need in to the get ass. out of here. This is a real pain in the ass. This All right, I'm gonna head out. All right, I'm done. Yikes! I spent a long time trying to beat this boss. <laughs> Ugh, this is like horrifying. Yeah. It's like nightmare inducing. Yeah. Oof. And I'll still say that the Silent Hill movie is one of the most faithful, if not the most faithful, video game adaptation. It's one of them. It's good. Oh, you have to do that to reload it? Yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> As I yeah, said, the controls it. are. I mean, you can't go back. It's hard. You got batted. It was hard then, and it's like impossible now. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking bad, dude. He's got him. How many times do you have to shoot this bitch? Like 150 oh, or? Yeah, yeah, a lot. I think a couple shots would do it, but. Mm, she's eh. a demon lady. I don't know. I guess. Ugh, that music is, like, so uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah, it's like, possessed circus music. Yeah. No thanks. No it thank sounds like... There we go. ...a machine or something, but, like, weird. Hey. Oh. Get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, now you're all sweet. Fuck yeah, blast oh, that bitch. Oh, baby, yeah. Well, there oh, we yeah. go. And I... Da, da, da. <laughs> and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, P.O.D. with the exit music. Hell yeah. P.O.D. <laughs> <laughs> An exit song by P.O.D. <laughs> anyway, that's my pick. Silent Hill 2 is one of the best video, like horror games of all time. With one of the best soundtracks, even though we're making fun of it. Did it not go? Yeah, this is a rare. This is, like, not the normal in this game. It's just the exit music by P.O.D. Just the... <laughs> I'm trying to skip to it, but it won't let me do it. Work, please? Please work now? Okay, it's working. Okay. You just have to ask it nicely. Just nicely. Just so nice. This is oh, Shiggy's yeah. pick. Yeah, I played this on Xbox 360 like so much. Rainbow Six. It, it's a, it's an RPG shooter. So like you level up and there's levels and you unlock armor and unlock guns and attachments and like all this stuff. Played. And I should have so you can see his level down in the bottom like he's whatever that level is 26,000 out of 35,000 dang and see so like this. you level up different parts of your like character while you're playing based on how you're playing so if you go in like with shotguns and riot shields you'll get really good at those things okay so this guy's like a kind of a mid-range like assault rifle build which is how i would go in by the way shotguns he's got a cool scope Oh, he's just murdering the people behind the boxes like that, okay. Hex! Wow, did he drop that guy? Nice. No, he didn't. Oh. This game was so fun. The shooting is, like, so fun. And I don't really, like, play a ton of shooters, but this is definitely a game I played a lot. It's just so fun. To, like, this fun. would take... I would play it. Th this would take me and my friend, like, we wouldn't ever be able to clear this by ourselves. And he's just, like murking everybody and he hasn't even moved from the beginning garage okay now he's moving nope yeah he doesn't he need got. to he's getting everybody <sighs> i want to know what that gun is that he's using 
Oh, this is the short clip. I don't have to skip around. No, you don't. Yeah, he's just gonna like literally clear this level. But yeah, uh. What console is this on? Because I would play Xbox it. 360. But the, it's on Can Steam. I... But like the network is is doesn't work. Like the servers don't work. Oh, that's so nice. you can't play multiplayer. You can play single player, but you can't play with people. Well, that's kind of lame. I know. Because, like, this game is awesome. And, like, his outfit is so cool. Like, you unlock each piece. Oh, that's a P90. That gun is. We got a P90. Sick. Oh! This is gonna go fast. Oh! <laughs> See? He got assault, like, experience. Yeah, he's he on single shot? What is he doing? Oh, he's just getting promoted to the next rank. This game, they're like, you're Lieutenant Colonel. He's like, yeah, hold on. There's like seven <laughs> more guys. <laughs> da, 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 da. I, I would just like grind on this game like all day. Oh my God, that was so sick. You can blind fire too. And that's like what I would do all the time. It's just blind fire. Oh, oh. do it. Blind fire. No, all right. Wow. Doesn't need to. No, he Not doesn't. Interested. It's Jason Bourne. Low ammo, don't care. Nah. He'll reload when he's ready. And you can see how many enemies are left there in the top left. There's like PvP, but it's not very good. Like these levels were more fun. This is called Terrorist Hunt, and there were just different maps that you could run over and over and over again with enemy AI with you and your buddies. And you would just get like experience. It was so fun. This is like the one we ran the most to. Like this exact level. He never even went in the villa. Oop. No, he <laughs> oh, there's the last one. Oop. He's got all those sick camos now. And he's done. Wow. A realistic difficulty, three minutes. Nice. Okay. Man, that sound brings me back. This is the first decision-based game that I ever played. I still play this game after a long time of not being able to find it. They finally... It doesn't work very well. And I've been, I'm been i going to do a, a full, like, gameplay video at some point. Like, just playing this game with no commentary. Which is a new series I'd like to do. It's just doing long plays with no commentary. But it's about the Titanic. And this came out, or I became aware of it anyway, around the time... Titanic came out and was super popular and I was super obsessed with it. You play as this guy, you start out in 1945 or whatever, like the height of World War II. You were just fired from your job Oops. as a secret agent. And it's like, you're trying to figure out like what to do and like you're obsessed with the Titanic because the like you had a job that you failed on the Titanic and so this whole thing you kind of like mess around in your apartment for a little bit until this happens. Which I hate air raids. Oh they're so no! So yeah, you you die. And you, you die. Get blown back to the Titanic. <laughs> The music is amazing in this game. It's an I interesting mean, take that it's like a time travel thing going on. Yeah. Yeah, 19 years is an interesting amount of time to time travel. You're the best, Soulmate. That's You're the best. There'd be no what is, what's going on, Soulmate? It was Sunday, April 14th. Too late, you see. For the Titanic. Too late, you see. For me. I'm too late, you saw. If I'd met with my contact, prevented disaster, what if the past could be changed? Wait, so you're solving World War II by, like, doing stuff on the Titanic? Like, yeah. in a time travel situation? That's yeah. sick. Yeah. That's real, taking real liberties. Yeah. I just thought this was a game where you just were like Jack. No. Wow. It's a whole separate story. It's a whole. Why is there's no applause for music? What are you talking about? Yes, there is. So. <laughs> <laughs> applause music, applause music. <laughs> 
so yeah, you start out on board the Titanic, and you're like in your room. Huh? You're on the Titanic. It's very cool. Am I ever happy? But it's not. You? It's not that Ooh, cool. Avocado and smoked salmon. Yeah. That sounds great. Oh, yeah. I'm great. We're talking about one of my favorite games of all time. It is available on Steam. The saving is a little weird. Like, I did play recently and had to, like, take a break from it because I played for, like, four hours. Oh, Smethels. Smethels, your steward. <laughs> and if Smethels. I may say so, it is good to see you up and about. Oh, wow, it this is in your cabin the whole voyage? I, I missed it if it was, and maybe was it? I, I would have to look it up. Seasickness can be wow, that is so that did kind of sound nightmare like inducing. Crossing. Since you haven't been out of your look at his IMDb and may CFP. I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? I'll just let Smethels play because he's like one of the best Very characters. Good. We of the White Star Line hope that your stay on board Titanic is as relaxing as possible. As you explore the ship, please bear in mind the following advice. The mouse is your hands. The keys, your feet. If I don't like this guy at all. He's very sweaty. Follow the directions on the control screen help panel, or consult your manual on it's adjusting your monitor. It's not on his IMDb. Maybe it's a different the control one. Panel help and the way this man is blinking makes me think he's a prisoner in his own body. Like, <laughs> get out. As well as a quit and save game feature. You may also adjust the volume. Test the settings by clicking on the black knob. You may also switch the theme music. Blink twice if you're being held here against your will. Click OK to return to your phone. OK. His mustache is glitching. Bro, his fucking his skeleton is glitching. I don't know, Joe. I don't, I don't see it on his IMDb. Several items in your room, a brown satchel and a pocket watch, are quite useful to you during your voyage. Take them with you. Anyway. People in 1912 were weird. <laughs> Good night. Good night. How did they even get this footage? So this you is the wonder. map situation. You can jump to the red parts, which was really helpful. There's the grand staircase, which I always thought was cool. The detail in this game was really, really good for the time. It's kind of like mist like I never played mist. It's kind of like this. Like you walk, walk around and like pick stuff up and it's a mystery and you like solve it. And I it's like, like that. I, yeah, it's like, it's like the OG of these kind of games, I believe. I don't know. You gotta talk to this guy, and he's hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did they animate things like this? I don't know. It was. I mean, it's. There's. I still haven't played a game like it. You know. Or, I mean, I have, but like this was definitely, if not one of the first, the first like decision-based story game I ever played. Oh yeah. Now, good night. He's really okay. hard. You have to get into hey, the wireless Blinky. room to like intercept a telegram. And he's like really difficult to talk to. It seems like this would be a good game to make, remake in VR. Yeah. It would be pretty cool if they did. But I'll just skip around here. They now have the ruby off. This could ruin me, Zydel, if I were found out. Oh yeah, there's fencing. Oh. You, you fence well. It's the designer. Yeah. So like you go all around the Titanic. There's a lot of like side story stuff that you interact with like the passengers, and uh, yeah, I recommend it. It's called Titanic Adventure Out of Time. I have a <laughs> well, back when I couldn't find it. I bought it on disc, and I bought like a whole PC to like try to play it. I liked it so much. Luckily, I don't have to do that anymore, but I do have a physical <laughs> copy of it. <laughs> It's a really fun game, especially if you were obsessed with Titanic and all of that. There's like nice little cutscenes like this where you're like, "Oh shit, they're gonna hit the thing!" Oh, we're getting burned. Oh, we're getting close to the iceberg. Watch out for giant things that are easily this. avoidable. Yeah, the people are a little creepy. <laughs> the, this is the creepiest song too. She must have a cabin on D deck near reception and could but you learn the you know in a New York layout of the Titanic which is pretty cool girls got some class to a mainline to a stable as you know but yeah see <laughs> <It's> Ted Cruz 
Nice. <laughs> now I'm never going to be able exactly to unsee how that. It looks. <laughs> Actually, it is here. really neat. Like they're using compositing. Like I can tell. Yeah, like these are real people. Like they're compositing a mouth on a on a blank face and like the eyes and eyebrows and like the bottom part of the nose. Yeah. And they're just changing frames based on like what sound is happening, and it's like the eyes seem like random almost, like yeah. changing. Yeah, you're in the smoking room. It's just cool. And yeah, there's just a lot of little side dramas you can get invested in. You are a penchant for side dramas. But it's too late. It's true. Got anything Stephanie'd like? I'll trade you. Pillars of Eternity is another game I couldn't add on the list, but if you like games with, like, a, new a lot Thanks. of choices, Here. it's not really, you know, Take it's an pick. early game, keep that in mind. There are a few, like, you know, it's not so totally on rails, but, and it is hard, it is, it's a deceptively yeah, hard game. Phoenix I've, writes a lot like that, it's right. like one of the harder so games. Yeah. But, um, Something should be yeah. You can play poker. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What's well, the what's the hand here? Oh, it's blackjack. Oh, blackjack. Yeah, oh, sorry. you hit twenty one. Sorry, buddy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll see you again. Yes. Yes. God. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh. Oh, you didn't stop it from hitting the iceberg. Like you went back in time and you didn't fucking. <laughs> Well, that's not the point. It's the point is to, like, make the war not happen. We can't prevent... Because he says in the beginning it's too late oh. for the Titanic. Because but, like, we spawn back there. to the night that it sinks. Which, spoiler alert, that does happen. Oh, yeah, big spoils here. Yeah. Yeah, and you're Man, still on it because you're a, a, a dude. And it's... I think well, you can you can escape onto a lifeboat if you have all the things. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I've survived like one time out of all the times I've played it. But sweet yeah. watery death. Yeah. I would have still went to the captain's quarters and been like, <coughs> Iceberg, watch out. <coughs> like, not directly change it. Yeah, right. Drop some right. hints. Right. We might be running into an iceberg pretty soon. Right. Oh. Yeah. You guys doing a little water dance. But yeah, the Titanic is one of those things that I... It's one of the things I've been fascinated with since I saw the movie. Didn't they have other ships that sank? Like that same company same made company, another yeah. ship and it, it was sank? was kind of cursed. If you look oh. it. I think all three I... of them sank. Like all three I have a in theory. The line sank. I have a theory that you just um, shouldn't use ships. <laughs> Seems pretty dangerous. I would rather take a, like my chances there than on a fucking plane. Really? Any day. Any day. Yeah. Ship is like slow and painful death. No, it's plane not. Plane is not, like fast. This doesn't happen anymore because the Titanic well... happened. Not a lot of people die like this But anymore. you could. Like, not a lot of people die in plane crashes, but, like, yeah, it happens. You have a 0% chance of surviving a plane crash. No, that's not true. It's small. I'll give it to you that it's small. I'll give but you a 5% like, chance. Yeah, but I think the same on a fucking, no, fucking cruise line, right? No, fucking way. You have right? a lifeboat. Like, what are you talking about? Well, I guess you have a lifeboat. That's right. Oh You'll God. survive. Yeah. I guess that's the core of that issue. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know yeah. I'm not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, are you serious? Back in the line, buddy. Like, actually farther than back in the line. We don't need those genetics. Like, I'm, it's no offense. <laughs> you understand, right? Get to the back, small guy. Ugh. Yeah, so this is like how it ends. And if you manage to get all of the things and do all of the things on the on the on the Titanic before it sinks, you prevent the you can, I think you can. I'm not sure. Here's my small gripe with the story. If you can prevent World War II yeah. and Hitler and stuff, why can't you prevent the Titanic from sinking? Because we are on the boat for a fair amount of time. 
before it sinks. We really could be like, hey, well, who would believe you? And you could pro you probably would spend your time in like, a, like a padded room, like that they would lock you in if you were like, no, really, I'm like a time traveler, and you're gonna hit the fucking iceberg in like two hours. You're gonna hit it. Problem was, it's too long. It's twice the length of any modern ship. Yeah, it was too long with too small a rudder, so they say. And not enough boats of life. Yeah, and there was only like 10 lifeboats, like fucking yeah. not enough. Really, we can pack, I, I think, 11,000 on here. And they only put like 12 here. people <laughs> they got, like, in seven them. Boats. <laughs> they completely underpacked them when they, when they did fill the lifeboats. There was like 12 people in one of them or some shit. It's insane how mishandled it was, and it's really, really unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, if it's cool. Leo did, if Leo wasn't there, they might have not hit it. If Leo and Kate weren't there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I rewatched that recently. It's still so good. It's just so good. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, so that's that game. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know why we went back to this, but anyway. Oh, I guess that's like another another ending you can get but i won't spoil any more for you if you are interested at all in anything that you saw i recommend it it's a really short game too um ooh, here uh it's a really short game um the sa the saving is a little weird but if you can figure that out then it's it's fine but um yeah i recommend it if you like story games and titanic and all that fun stuff the peasants that by the boat, ins the lifeboat insurance. Yeah, I mean, it's still mm. like that should just be like a, a thing that we all get. <laughs> Classic. Right. All right. So this is Shiggy's pick. Shadow, yep, of, Shadow the of the Calluses. Yeah. Of the Calluses. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's pronounced Callus actually. <laughs> um, yeah, this game was just like super crazy, very abstract. Like I have. I never played. In. I never played Ico or Ico, their older game. So this was like the first game by the studio I played. The graphics are and It was crazy. Insane. This is the PS4 remake in 2018. There's been a PS5 uh, a frame rate, port. baby. Mm. Yeah. It was really good looking for its time, though. Like, this is <clears throat> how it looked in my head. Yeah. It was a PS2 title. That's how and that, like, like, Ocarina of Time and, and Skyrim and stuff were, too. Like, we were just like, this is what uh, I pictured. Skyrim, guys. Didn't make my list almost vindictively. I almost um, put it, but, like, we've talked about it a lot, and y'all know that how I feel about that game. So yeah, it's, like, it's <laughs> good, it but it's there. also, like, 28 years old or whatever. It's, like, time for time for a new game. I'm not going to disagree with you on that. I have been interested in this game. Like, we talked about this also on the video game soundtracks stream. Uh, yeah, the music mm -hmm. in this game is incredible. Know, it's so yeah. cinematic. Like, the game is just, like, an interactive movie. And there's, yes, like... I would like that. There's really no dialogue. Like, the only like dialogue is the the god guy, like, handing orders down to you. That's really all there is. Like... Everything is kind of painted with actions, kind of like... Okay, I'm going to start uh, keeping a list, because y'all are making me... Okay, Mist, I want to check out. Yeah, Mist. M-Y-S-T. Y-S-T, yeah. And then Daggerfall? You're, I don't know what Daggerfall is. Daggerfall? Yeah, who said that? Jenna oh, said yeah. Daggerfall is better than... Daggerfall is so good. There's a Unity remake going on of Daggerfall right now that you can download. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, there was... The second boss was the one that we watched. Like, 18-year-old me is like, oh my god. See, I, like, my I did only... not know you could do this. My only thing is I'm not, like, huge into fighting bosses, and that's, like, and all that's this all is. all this game. And, and I'm it's, not into that. And you're such a small little ant. Yeah, All no. the music. You're like, yeah, go fight this thing. It's just, like, so good. It's like little rumblings, and you're just like, am I really about to, like, and I only fight like, this? I mean, I say that, and I play Monster Hunter. I don't know. Like, I, I guess it's the co-opness of Monster Hunter that I like a lot. The, the loneliness is a big theme in this game. I, like, the only bond I you have like is that it. horse. I don't know. Maybe I should just give it a chance. I don't know. This seems, like, it's too hard for great. me, though, because I suck it's at games. Big. It's like a Breath of the Wild's, like, climbing system really lifted from this game a lot. Like, the climbing works a lot like Breath of the Wild. And you can yeah, eat these forbidden fruits to, like, give you more stamina. Uh-oh. 
It's about oh, to the, end I like the Oblivion week. was the second Elder Scrolls. No, this first Elder Scrolls is Arena, Daggerfall is Elder Scrolls 2, Morrowind is Elder Scrolls 3. Really? Oblivion is Elder Scrolls Elder Scrolls 4 Elder Scrolls. and Skyrim is Elder Scrolls 5. Oh, he's jumping on the thing. Yeah. I thought Morrowind was I the first Elder one, Scrolls. but that's just no, to show you how the much the third one. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. See, I, I, love, I like, struggled, Joe. I, I jumped on the Elder Scrolls chain very late, and I played Skyrim first, and then I played Oblivion, and then I tried to play um, Morrowind, and I can't play <laughs> I hate the, the role-based, or the, yeah, the role-based, like, fighting. I don't know. I can't do it. Like, R-O-L-L-based, -O -O right. like, dice roll-based fighting. Yeah, where you're missing. Oh. You just have to train with the weapon. Oh, my oh. God. That's so... <laughs> You're just like, shit, the whole time oh you're my fighting God. something. I would feel so bad, too. This and the music, like, terrible. the strings, like, going oh all God. Oh, no, they're bad. They're bad. Don't no. worry about it. Or, like, you're the bad guy, actually. Yeah. But, like, it's fine. You are the bad guy. Yeah, but that's cool. I don't cool. like it's it. A, it's, no, it's not. Yeah. You you're trying make, to revive you your a evil, princess. So like, you're fucking killing Falco well, right you have now, a and I'm not into it. You have a motive. Like, I'm they're sure poisoning the lands, and you're trying to, like, revive this lady. Who's like dead sure and she's you really it. love her. I'm sure she's worth I'm not going to spoil anything. <laughs> the fights are insane though. Like, what? Yeah, Uncharted like wishes. God, I would feel so did bad this. just like stabbing this poor creature in the head. Oh, uh, then and the over music. Again. This part makes you feel really bad. Yeah. No, I'm not into it. I can't even kill the little ladybugs on Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's like Vivaldi esque. Bit. The soundtrack is like it's really reminiscent pretty. of Vivaldi. It is really pretty. Hey Deku, how are you? Daggerfall was procedural uh, back in the floppy disk. Yep, days. yep. Daggerfall did. Uh, they have a game map the size of Great Britain or the UK or whatever. They're, yeah, their maps have always been pretty extensive. That one is the biggest like game map I think that's really? ever ever been done. Yeah, because it it's like mostly fresh? procedural. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's a common thread. Well, the, it's very pretty, and I do like the music a lot. So if you ever uh, want to, like, play this, let me know, because then I'll, like, you can just fight this. I things. should play through this again. I think it's on PS Plus. I'm pretty sure. Because I would God. be into, like, co-playing this with you. The music is such a masterclass. Like, everything, pretty much. The storytelling, how they do the no, like, dialogue stuff, and, like, you start to almost feel like the bad guy, and, like, you have to, like... Yeah. You kind of deal with that. You're like, I'm just kind of go around being an asshole like, is here. Is this like, really worth killing all of these yeah. like, legendary monsters? Like, I don't, yeah. Should I just let her go? And the guy for the guy who's telling you to do it, or like the godlike person who's telling you to do it, is painting it like you're purifying and like they're a, they're a poison to the land. You I'm know, sure. like they're but they are obviously it's like, like a deep, <laughs> it's like a fucking Miyazaki movie where you're just yeah. like, am I the yeah, bad yeah. day? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm totally. It's very like anti. That, but it's, it's also wow. This bridge is like an important part of the game too. It's very like anti-industrial. The game, like industrialization, is like killing all these like native monsters and stuff. I do like that. Very Miyazaki. Very Miyazaki. Yeah. 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 It's very pretty. I would like to play it. Just it's to, like, like iconic, it. and you can like run over the bridge, and you can run like under it. And when you're running under it, it's just like so. I would feel too tall. bad killing the things, though. I would feel too bad. Na, 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 na. The music is like so good. This is the beginning cinematic, I think. Oh, there's the bridge. Yeah, they're like coming to find you. Don't look for me. Because <laughs> you kind of stole their uh, princess lady. Never mind. This is just a cut trailer. Oh my god. Ooh. It's just like no game is like that. Where you're yeah. just like, alright, let's fucking okay. try to do this. Yeah. Like yeah. other games, boss fights really do pale in comparison. Even Dark Souls, I, I say, think, like, pales in Dark comparison. Souls. Because, like, that's probably what comes the closest. But that's just, like, cheap, huge hitboxes and, like, 
frustrating but like move sets this is like you're like hanging on a monster that's like 50 feet tall <laughs> like look at that what are you doing oh, uh, shit. oh man it's so gigantic yeah Oof. the tutorial boss is fucking like 800 feet tall and you're just like okay yeah oh, okay so we're gonna change gears here <laughs> Um, this I only have a short thing, so I'll pause it really quick. Those of you who have been around and have seen me play this before, this is a cooking simulator called Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. There's now three. Um, the third one is drastically different. This is my favorite one of the franchise because you get to like make your own restaurant, which I really like. Um, which I've been meaning to stream this um, again because it's really fun to stream. But um, one day... I will do that again, but this is, it's a, just a really short trailer to give you the, uh, you know, the, an idea about it, but it's a, it's a really fun cooking simulator where you run your own restaurant. So if that interests you, highly recommend Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. The third one's really good too. It's a, little, a lot faster paced and you own a food truck. They have, they've added more like customizable options to the food truck since I played originally. Um, it's still fun, but I like the second one the most, but here's, here's Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. You reminded me I really want to play Cooking Simulator. Yes, we do need to play that. You can do like themes. There's a whole bunch of different types of recipes. The recipes come with like the history of the recipe, which I think is really cool. See that? There's yeah, so this many. is a lot like uh, if Cooking explain? Mama stripped a lot of the like mini game aspect and put in more of like the management aspect. Yeah. Which is what I like. And I never right. really I liked like that Cooking too. Mama. So this game really... I like Cooking Mama. Yeah, I, I don't. I, until I found this game, I didn't really find it a, a cooking simulator that I liked. And yeah, this game, it's, t it's hard to do. But I really like you can make your own restaurant, yeah. too. Like, that really is appealing for me. That's a re that's probably the coolest part of this game, that you could do that. And, like, make your menu and stuff. Yeah. That's super cool. That's really appealing to me, and that's, that's why it gets my pick. I really like the the mini games of Cooking Mama a lot, though. Like, I would just make recipes over and over again to try to get 100%, and like, yeah. just doing like little knife cuts and being like, ah, with the Wii remote, like fucking. <laughs> yeah, Cooking Simulator is difficult. Um, that one is a lot uh, yeah. easier. Uh, this is your pick. I'm not sure what. Yeah, Escape, Escape from, from Tarkov. Tarkov. Yeah. Yeah, I love this game. It's another shooting RPG. It's like kind of like Rainbow Six Vegas, but like the sequel in my mind. And uh, it's a looter shooter, so it's like kind of Borderlands-y in that aspect. Is it like you're always picking up a ton of loot and trying to bring it back. But like, I feel like this game ruined other game, other shooting games for me. Like I'll never play other shooting games again, except this game because this is like gameplay. There's no HUD. If like, you ever you can't find Shiggy, he's playing Tarkov. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> if he's been gone for like a few days and you're like, God, I haven't seen Shiggy. He's been playing Tarkov. That's Tarkov, yeah. <laughs> it, it's like you can build guns down to like the we the pistol grip. Like it's just there's so much modification and parts and items and loot and like military technology and like thermals and like. And it's like you playing with a team, you have to be like so tactical because the game doesn't tell you if you if it's your friend, like you can just kill your friends yeah. and your friends can kill you. So you have to be like very clear, like, hey, I'm coming in this room like right now. I like I'm that. Entering. Be like the firefights are so fun because you don't get a little like beep, 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 to kill. Like, it is fun to mega watch. Kill. If I'm ever able to, I will because he he'll stream it like in discord and i'll watch because it is fun to watch also this is the new map too that's not out yet it's called streets and like i'm very excited for this map i don't know like i still don't know if i want to play it or not <laughs> oh it's i wouldn't recommend it to anybody but it's one of my that's favorite what everyone games. <laughs> says which makes me not <laughs> like you're not selling it here like no this it's looks it, fun this looks fun it, but every single this person looks fun, says but that getting one tapped by a pistol when you bring in like right. an eight hundred thousand dollar gun and some guy just runs up to you and he's like hey how's it going and it's right no, I, and you're just like i died the stories that you've told me are definitely like nope i'm good i've been doing this thing now where i go around <laughs> and i wear a sheriff's hat and i use a revolver and i tell people to drop their weapons and i put on my sheriff Reach voice so i'm like drop your stat. weapons <laughs> approach the door and drop your weapons Oh, the firefight looks so... And he's, like, blind firing a little bit, like, shooting there around corners. A firefight! 
you just have to know if you got a kill if they drop or not pretty much that's the only way you can know otherwise you don't know if they're dead and you just like are right, the fuck are they dead like and it's so loud this is not doing it justice yeah. how loud this fucking game is that's it's what i was saying like they're, like they're i hope that you get the footsteps in here in this in this video because shiki shared a video with me one time of them getting like raided or something <laughs> like, and those no. fucking footsteps were so loud <laughs> They scared that the shit the out of me, and I was just like, "What was that?" Because like, I listened to that clip with headphones on. Jesus Christ! Oh God, it's just like so, and like the injuries really matter, and it's like bisection, so your arm can get broken, or like your chest can get shot through, and you'll be bleeding internally, and you have to like fix it uniquely. So like during a firefight, you have to be like, "Oh, I fucking got me in the leg." <laughs> you to, like, go the leg. You're just like fucking heat. You're just like shooting like crazy. Oh God, got me in the leg. Charlie. And your friends are like, go back there. I'm just gonna fucking shoot. This. And it's just so loud. It's, it's fucking, it and pe loud. when people use tracer bullets in this game, it's like Star Wars fight. There's just like lasers going everywhere. It's so fantastic. I love this game. And it's just like, everything feels so, I guess, like, rewarding right. and, like, when you kill somebody, you get all the stuff. You get to take everything they have. Like, they lose it. <laughs> it's yours. And, like, it's well, just, it's, no game really does it well punishing. like this. Which I guess it should be. It's, like, going for realism, so, like, this yeah. guy's just laying down in a hallway, just, like, <laughs> on his side, just shooting. Oh, that guy just got melted in front of him. How's but, like, it going, Charlie? <laughs> This game is just great. I just love the looting. It has so much loot. It has the most loot, I think, out of any game I've played. Even it, like it World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy. But yeah, I don't think I could play it. I just like blind firing <laughs> into an apartment building. Because like I would never bring anything. I would never bring anything. I just And that's how I play the game, is I bring I, a pistol. Yeah, and no, I just I run around anything. and jump like an asshole, even though I have hundreds, or no, tens of millions of rubles. I just still bring a shotgun. I'm just like hee -hee, and jump yeah. around and like. I mean, that's kind of the route I would go if I did play. Yeah, oh, no, I, I rarely go play. in geared because it's like I have. I'm never like, going. Gear but fear. That's part of like, what's the fun of that? Where you're like, yeah, I, I know. Have, I have all this shit. I'm not going to bring it in there because I'm definitely going to die. I don't the know. whole community is like split because there's a section of the community that's like, if you don't use these items, you're not playing the game, and then the other half of the community is like never going to use this it's like way too good and if i go in with yeah. this it's a guarantee i'm gonna, I'm gonna die. die and it's just like what's like it's almost like what's the point after but that? you can sell you can just bring stuff back and sell it too you don't have to just but keep I it fucking there are use vendors it. It's a sweet well then bring it in and yeah what's the point of accumulating all this <clears throat> money that you can't use to buy shit because you don't want to no, buy you can use the money you can what? use the money to buy shit to buy all the items in the game like to buy the guns and ammo and armor and shit like that hmm. Yeah, there's like a whole economy and stuff and a flea when market. Sale, I'll try it. I'm not going to spend yeah. the full price on it because I probably can, won't play it very long. You can just use my account and, and do it. Maybe. That could be a fun video one day, Kate plays Target. Yeah, I, I'll just like, yeah, it'll be like a 14 <laughs> second video. You're just like, wow, I've been waiting for a really long time and I'm dead. <laughs> well, that's not very fun. Oh, that like, I'm if, like yeah, right. That would be like the, the rage quit that's <laughs> during what was it deep rock galactic oh man that's yeah. like that's my most ragey moment I think. <laughs> you're shooting in the wall i don't know how to do this <laughs> like, just I didn't know. it was like knocking me into the hole and i was just oh, like yeah, i couldn't no. like couldn't get out hold on do we like, need to revisit uh, that let's revisit this really quick because it's a clip on that was funny and Swanson decided that was going to be a good time to give me like 20 fucking gift subs where I was just <laughs> like, bro, I am in the middle of like losing my mind. Hold on. You were not a fan of that game. Oh, I was not. No, not a fan of that. I did like the game a lot. Okay, here's You're the You're not at first. Here's what we're talking about. You were not hot on it at first. This is Deep Rock Galactic and this is my like ragiest really moment on game. stream. Random. The game is really fun. Glad. My frame rate was also dropping because my system, my settings were wrong. Not fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun after I fixed it, but my my tutorial was not fun. And I can't like, I can't get out of this fucking hole. Wow. And it's like glitching my game out. Wow, with 45 seconds to go. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh my god. I hate this game. 
<laughs> this is so dumb. I hate this. This is so bad. It's just like, it's not having a good time. I'm straight up not having a good time right now. I need to make my own rage sound command and put this over it. I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this anymore. I don't want to play this anymore. Just screaming. I don't want to play this anymore. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Oh my god, the like software encoder is so loud. Jesus Christ, Swanson, you're popping off at the wrong time, but thank you for the 10 gift subs. That's insane. <laughs> fuck this game. Your heart, I fucking hate this game Just tell your heart is going already, so fast. I fucking hate this game, this game already. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It was right. in my mind. All right. Anyway, I just thought we would share that for a moment. There's the yeah, exactly finished. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the most rage I've ever shown on stream. This, and this is why I don't play Rocket League or anything on stream like that. Because I, that's what like happens. That. Well, if you want it, that's what would happen. If you want more of that, let me know. <laughs> and start a Rocket League league. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I've played my fill of Rocket League, I think. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We're going to move on to The Sims, which is my pick. And I almost made my list. Yeah. The Sims! Oh, that song makes me happy. So I've been yeah. playing The Sims, and I took a break. I don't know how, but like I went from Sims 1 to Sims 4. Didn't play 2 or 3. <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah. I liked 3 the most, I think. Yeah, OG Sims. I had to throw OG in here because, for me, this is where it all started. Oh my god, yeah. I remember this even. Like, Max's games hit different. They used to hit different. Like SimCity and The Sims, they're just like so experimental, but like also good. It's so cool. Man, I'm gonna feel built after this. I haven't Sims in a long time. I wanna, honestly. when I see Sims gameplay, it's like I wanna build, but I want to like have a 8x8 like economy shack and I wanna like get a job and amass money and like get a promotion and build on it and build on it and like that's the fun of the sims to me personally is i start like super small and i try to earn money and like get a mansion and yeah. be all popular yeah, at yeah, the end too. and stuff oh and i'm sorry charlie i didn't mean to um gloss over your question we were talking top video games today so yeah sims um is one of my picks uh, my it's dangerously close to like top soundtrack in terms yes. of how effective it is we did we did include it on our top soundtrack yeah. just because it how was can you my, not? Yeah. Yeah. How can you the, listen, to, listen to this? One of the best soundtracks I think I've ever heard. Like SimCity was that way too, where I was playing it and I was just like, This is fucking amazing. Holy holy. Sims my. one was so good. Oh, yeah. oh, I lived in that gray house all the time too. Max's games had amazing soundtracks. They really did. This makes me wanna like shop for a car at Brooks Brothers. Ugh. We're just going to live in Sims 1 world for a second. But yeah, no, I didn't play Sims Bustin' Out. I didn't play any of that. I missed out on that era, but I, you know, I'm definitely back in with Sims 4. Oh, Bustin' Out? Is that a PS2 game? Shig, that's what the kids call Rags to Riches Challenge. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's how I play this game. I love doing that. Like, building the cheapest house you can that provides all the needs is the first step and then you just save money like penny pinch essentially and like sometimes yeah. don't pay your bills and stuff and then and you then... like you know you find you like organically find someone and then you start a family yeah. and do all yeah that's how i play too until like yeah. i was largely a gameplay player until i got on twitch and i learned that just yeah. building was a thing and i think i, I was always like challenges but like i was always I like, like 50 50 i think like 50% build, 50% gameplay. I think both aspects of the building and the gameplay are like, they are, I would say, like the apple of, of that style. Like, just nobody has the, the polish and thought and, like, history to do it well. Like, this, like, nobody even touches this style. Right. Oh, because they, like, they have it on lock so well. They always had the creepy clown painting. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna skip around a little bit. I just wanted to uh, let's yeah. bring us back to a simpler time, and this game, I spent s Ugh. 
so, I spent so much time, much time on it. I spent so much time on this Lots. game. It was so crazy, like, when it came out, and you're just like, you do what? Like, you just fucking... I have, like, 600 hours in guy. Sims 4, like, and I had probably more than that on Sims 1. Like, I just would let this game play also, like, the buy... Uh, yeah. The buy mode, I would just like do my homework and let that play in the background. <laughs> yeah, always. I would like Final Fantasy XI and The Sims 1, I would just keep up. And Sims 2 soundtrack is like pretty good. I mean, you can't really compete with The Sims 1 soundtrack. Like, it's right. No, you can't. Incredible. But like The Sims 2, I think, really hit its stride. <laughs> this is an inspiring step forward. <laughs> oh, I'm playing with the fist. The jazz music is like so <laughs> It's so perfect. good. Like, it's still, there still hasn't been, like, even the progression of The Sims just doesn't hit it like The Sims 1 does. It just in the doesn't. Sim, I feel like The Sims 1, 2, and 3 are a golden era, and yes. then 4, it, it dropped slightly. 3 was fantastic because you could just like drive around the city I and like go to different that. places. I didn't oh, play the so Sims good. where you could drive and I'm upset about it. Well, you could like select a location to go and your Sim would get in the car and drive there. Like you couldn't manually drive, but like, yeah, you could go all around the city. You could like go have like friends at the other side of town and go like visit them and shit. And there was like grocery stores you could go to and like parks and stuff. And I'm level so upset fishing that I didn't have a computer. This was all base or something. Like, I don't that know. That was how... base Sims three, like no I expansions. Know. I guess I moved to consoles for a large part of like that time. I don't know how I didn't play it. I don't know. I played the shit out of Sims one and then not again until Sims four. And I really can't tell you how it happened. Sims on like that guy's portrait on the like bearded guy's portrait. It's mods for the Sims are like amazing. everything. I need to get. I need to look more into the mods because I play mostly vanilla. I play mostly I need, vanilla, and that's how we'll have it I in this need. home. Spend way we... more time on this into like all weekend and every day after school till sleep. Yeah, my mom yeah. would play this game. Like my mom would come into my room just to play the fucking Sims. I tried like, to get my mom to play the my Sims. Mom she wouldn't do it. My mom loved the Sims one, and she and I keep trying to get her into Sims Four, but she's not into it anymore. It's got pretty like they tried to simplify it, but in turn have made it complicated through so much simplification oh, over Joe the years. Wrong, it's like shaky. complicated. I am about what? Oh, because I. <laughs> What'd you say? He, I, I said. Uh, we play games vanilla here in this household and that's how it'll stay because <laughs> like i personally if you have to mod a game not well, interested like i lose hold on. interest you don't have to mod anything first of all but like I, if but you can add you can play I, things vanilla and it'll be fine like i still haven't added mods to stardew but i want to and stuff like that like you can still play these games vanilla and they're still amazing games but you you can like play them with mods and have a different experience if it's not a mod that only improves the engine and playability oh come on uh, like come i'm not on. interested okay well my me personally it, it's a it's a very you can wake up and choose violence that's fun that's fun i just and modding in fun. my opinion is like <laughs> If I wanted to watch Mr. Robot, I'd go watch Mr. Robot. Like, I, I want to play the game as the developers intended. Okay, I'm glad this went to the buy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wanted to get some of this in there. The build. I don't know, this the is buy. buy mode. Yeah, build buy, whatever. Like, this mode, I would just let it play in my room. Modding. Yeah, oh like, modding, it modding just makes Skyrim. You... <clears throat> like, modding, uh, you know, stuff like that. It's just like, it's, you don't have to, but it does add difference, a difference to the game. Oh, it but makes I do you feel like you play games vanilla. I do, but if I've played it a lot, like I do want to try Stardew mods. Stuff like I that. always just play games vanilla. Like, like I could probably mod games more to have more fun, but I just I'm interested in what the developers wanted to present. Like the the game team, I'm interested in what they wanted to present me. Like I'm not interested in a community like hodgepodge <laughs> of of features that aren't even tested by the company like that's wild like no way <laughs> i just want to play the game i didn't know final fantasy 7 had mods completely new experience yeah 
Like, I added a bunch of... Until, like, they came... Before they came out with, like, the HD enhanced version of Skyrim. Like, I would use a lot of the mods for that. Yeah, and texture like, upgrades are, are acceptable to me, even though I have no bearing and to there say was a what house is acceptable. That you could get that was in River Run, which now they've added also that you can build, which I just did. I spent like most yeah. of last Sunday just like building my house in Skyrim. It was great. <laughs> yeah, I love building your house in, in Skyrim. I didn't it's know so that fun. was a thing, so like I spent a long time doing that. Anyway, this I don't want to spend too much this. time, but like Sims One is definitely like. The one of the first games I ever played, and it was like the game I played the most. Oh my god! All of the <laughs> all the notifications. It's bringing me back. I want to play The Sims now. Me too. <laughs> I'm so gonna bad. play The Sims after this. Oh, oh yeah, the co <laughs> all of this is just bringing me it's back. Like, man. Oh my god! I don't I know how this game is better than The Sims Four. It just is. I know. I don't. Know it, I don't have a concrete answer as to why. It's like probably it's mostly so the music, good. but like I don't know. It's so good, and you could get burgled if you forgot yeah. to put a like house alarm and shit. And you could caption photos. Ugh. Oh my gosh, amazing! It's such oh a simple God, feature. Tar. Yes, I need to see that, please. Makes the game open source where the game does only care about money. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's that's increasingly the problem, no, 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 no. isn't it? 2004 uh, tire. Mostly textural mods, but they have the new threat mod, which basically makes the game harder and changes a few things, but the main game stays pretty much the same. I would not like that, but I'm glad that you do. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at games, so hard mode is never an option for me, but I do like watching people play hard games. The sounds, yeah, the burglars, yeah. You could get burgled if you forgot to put a burglar alarm in. You still get a burgled if you put an alarm in. Like they would just yeah. get caught by the cops if they they would do it still. Yeah. Just like the the way this game planted a garden of complex seeds and just let the flowers grow and interact like that's the game. It's like there's no yeah. game. They just give you a ton of systems to play with and like yeah. decide things on and it's just like cool. an accumulation of your decisions. It's done so well it's, it's like so not sandbox but it's definitely not linear we're just gonna let this last buy mode play us out and then i just want to i have a comparison video to, to sims 4 and then we'll move on from the sims but it's just so good i i can sit here and have sat here for hours just building and i have sat here for hours just doing gameplay either way i spent i've spent so much so much time on this game if you didn't put a house phone and you couldn't phone the police, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot all the sounds and stuff too. Now I'm just enjoying watching OG Sims. I this was it. like, this was like one of the first, or not, maybe not the one of the first, but one of the early PC games that like entered pop culture as well. Like started coming up. In yes, memes TV shows and, like, and stuff like that. Like setting, like because like some of the shit that happens in this game is like so insane. Just like yeah. getting set on fire and like it's stuff. Like it's just crazy. Yeah. Oh. Well, this is just me, but I wanted to show like what The Sims 4 looked like now, just on one of my build videos. But like, you can do so much in this game now, but it's just, it's just not the same. It doesn't, it doesn't fit the same. Does this become in? Wonder. But like, I even I just want, I mostly wanted to bring attention yeah, to like, around. even like the the graphics are okay. But like there yeah. was just something more alive I feel about what Sims they, One. They had a bigger collection of stuff that you could like buy and do. Let them, like, base game. Like they have removed yeah. functionality and features, and they now release it in DLC packs and yeah. stuff because they make fine. more money that way. Like it's a business decision, and it's a good one if people are going to be willing to buy that, and they are obviously. So yeah, I've spent like, too much. Money I think on it's this a good game. call. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but you have to admit, like, it's a good business model. Like, if you could b sell the same amount of content for sixty dollars one time, That's or a lot of money, 60, right there. Then forty, <laughs> then thirty, then thirty, then twenty, then ten, then twenty. Like, you're definitely going to take the recurring revenue. Like, it's much better. Yeah, we've we've done the math before. It's like a grand, and probably more now because they just update this game all the time now. 
Mm-hmm. It's at least over a grand now for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sims 4 has a lot of packs, and there's still way more than what's on that list. Was it this one when you didn't pay your bills and they show up with a laser gun and zap your furniture away? I'm pretty sure that is. Because I do remember that. You could yeah, get the repoed. Sims was like, it used to be like wacky too. Like wacky yeah. stuff used to happen. Now it's kind of more centered around realism. This was my sunken ship build. But yeah, like it's just, I don't have any like real gameplay except for real world, which I'll be streaming this week probably. If not, then definitely next weekend because I need to get, I need to get real world going again. But yeah, this is a. I just wanted to show what, how it looks now. This is a, a build that I did um, for a shell where it was just a sunken ship, which was kind of fun. Anyway, that is The Sims. That is The Sims. That is The Sims, and it doesn't get much better than that. Doesn't get much simmer than Sims. <laughs> oh, I wish this let me like skip to the end here. Isn't there? A, oh, there isn't a skip button. Oh, it's in the bottom right. You can skip video. Yeah, but now when I'm in full, full screen. screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I have to get out of it. Boom. Boom. Okay. Yeah. This is where we're starting to get to like the golden picks, like the untouchables. The golden picks, yeah, because we went from the bottom of the list to the top, so we're just yeah, getting so better now, and better. Yeah. Well, obvious. <laughs> I don't even have to talk about this game. Like everybody knows about. We'll just this let game. it speak for itself. Hey, Mario. Yeah. It's like in a time in a time where we have like side scrolling games this comes out and everybody just gets their mind exploded oh. the wind flute man here for that it's madness hey, Mario. He's gonna be do sims math it hurts yeah i don't want to 20 dollars for all packs on ebay oh rosebud and mother load yep cheaters ollie shut your mouth work for your money <laughs> Now we're talking. Oh, that gif is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. So it's just like this. It's the perfect like opening to a game. You get a tutorial with like no real driving music. You can just like explore the game, like encourages you to explore like all of his jumps, how the camera moves Another before you really go do game. anything. And then like. It's sandbox in that they just give you a bunch of doors. They're like, you can go in a couple and like, you just do whatever you want. You like, go wherever you want. It's just yeah. unheard so of. So nuts yeah. before it's time. Yeah. Like, wait, this is 3D? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. And yeah. the music is so good. And they made the camera like an actual dude. Revolutionary for the franchise and for gaming. Yeah. Which is Nintendo oh. for you. Winner, winner. Oh, I spent so much time in this room, too. Bob on Battlefield. The jazziest Civil War music ever. Because it's the Bob Bombs like Civil War happening. Oh, we can That's absolutely like... talk about the different hats. Yes, we can. What was your favorite hat? I like my that favorite hat that is too. my favorite hat. Not is not from this one. It's from Super Mario Brothers three, and it's the uh, raccoon hat. <laughs> Love that hat. Love the character. The character it's just amazing. Is that the Fro flying actually, one? Actually, Frog Mario from Super Mario World two or Super Mario two. Very close. Is this is the foxy one. I like the fox one. The ra I think that's raccoon. Oh, is it raccoon? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is my alarm music. Oh, yeah. He just took this stream and dipped it into a big bat of nostalgia. I was Lap that it way up. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, the music was so good. The file select music is so good on this game. This is the best. It's just like happy. If you like ask me what happiness is, I could link you. I would link you. Yeah, this and this is a battlefield. This is like a civil war between bob bombs happening, and it's just like. <laughs> I always found that funny. Yeah. It's like chaos around you in this really happy song. 
Ooh, I was jumping already. He doesn't have time for that. Dodging him like a sucker. He's just jumping. Wow, risky jump. Going for it. People, the ability that people had to like play this game was crazy. When you saw somebody that was really good at Mario 64 play, you're just like, I don't I'm even know how you're doing I'm this. You're playing this again. <laughs> like, I, I would struggle like running up a hill. Like, I would run up and then just fall down, and then they would be like doing a whole bunch of flippies in the air, and I'm like, how the fuck are you doing that? How are you doing that? How are you doing? Nah, he doesn't have time. He's... I oh, I remember. Yeah, you had to throw him around. Yeah. He doesn't have time for this. I just boss this guy around. Grab yeah. your butt, Bobby. <laughs> Whoop. Throw him off. I guess you have to hurt him a couple times. It's like, hey, put me down. It was like us playing Fall Guys last night. Put me down. <laughs> Let me down. Let me down. I hate that you can grab people in that game. Oh yeah, I thought you might not like that. No one was a jerk to me, luckily oh, last wow. night, but I would have lost Does my mind. Does still have it installed? <laughs> <laughs> Who grabbed me? I did, that's what, la ta that's what happened the last time I played crap game though, and I did rage quit and I haven't played since. Yeah. We let some rando play with us and he grabbed me and threw me off the thing and I was like, I'm never playing this game! Ever again! <laughs> that was my fucking fun! And that's why you don't play with randos, kids. <laughs> yeah, we usually don't grab. Yeah, I just do it to nose to piss them off. Yeah. There are a lot of troll grabs going on. Yeah, that's the function of the button. They put it in there right. because they're like, Hey, aren't people assholes, though? <laughs> like, shouldn't we appeal to them, too? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, just let them grab each in other and game, fuck everything up. Yeah, in a game where you have to race each other and shit, yeah. Should it, like, cost anything? No. No, you're not listening. They <laughs> should be able to do it at any time for as long you're as they want. You're not getting it, Derek. You're not getting it, Derek. <laughs> oh, Oh, we got, we got the it. With the jump. God damn, this guy's a pro. That was my favorite mini game in Super Mario World. Was the like mini levels where you had to like do the guessing game for the oh for yeah the green mushroom. Yeah. Mario's the reason I sign off like that. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> You got it. Yeah, got it. Ugh, I love this song too. I know. I oh, he's about to go into the the Koopa battlefield or the Koopa place or whatever, right? Womp's Womp. Fortress. Okay. Why? What's this music? The same one. Oh yeah. Oh, I know this is tree jump. Oh my gosh. He just skipped like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. These le the level design is like masterful in these games. Yeah, oh, you are. blew it. You yeah, blew it. Oh, maybe not. We're going the wrong way. Nah, he's it's calculated. Oh. Oh man, that mini game. That's why we have anxiety as adults. The blue ring. Yeah. Thing. Also, Sonic <laughs> running out of breath yes. underwater. Oh my dun, 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 dun. It's like a panic attack in a game. Underwater levels. They can all go straight I've never, to hell. I've never finished this game either. Sorry, I've only glitched through. I did like the stairway glitch to beat it once, but I've never actually got 150 stars. I think my highest star count is like 99 or something like that. Like, I was, like, three-fourths of the way through. But I have also never beat this game. I played a lot of it. The underwater music is my favorite. Yeah, it's the worst levels with the greatest music. Yeah. <laughs> They're such hard levels. Uh-oh. 
Shadow we, of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. We should edit the like <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus music over this. Ooh. Whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> My boy's breaking the game over here. Wow. Oh, I don't know there what Jet Force Gemini is. Oh, Jet Force Gemini is so good. It's N64 game. It's, uh, uh, N64 it's kind of like... like the, oh, so good. It's like a co-op shooter, third-person style game. Kind of like, uh, you know, uh, what's the bug one? Earth Defense Force? It's a little oh, yeah. bit like that, but not... You don't get, like swarmed and overwhelmed by bugs it's more like you're just on alien planets and like it's like a third person shooter co-op yeah they're really fun to play with a friend yeah really really good music yeah and it's rare yeah rare does that game like the banjo kazooie people that's golden era rare oh yeah here we go here we go ah uh, yeah, I wanted to play all of it because it goes to three different levels. I always Full wanted to do experience. a montage. I always wanted to do a montage of like something like horrible happening with this music under it. Because <laughs> it's like just the most peaceful, beautiful music in the world. Just gotta this make is like some what chaos happen. Do to calm down. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good one. Like I want to like show somebody losing their job and going home and like breaking down and stuff it just says that <laughs> we can edit that together with the sims music and the car wreck <laughs> i swear you have no Sorry. mashup with this oh i swear you have a mashup with that song probably it's possible if i don't you should make one yeah i think you have to make one anyway and what's that if you ain't got no money take your Broke ass home son. It's a glamorous by Black Eyed Peas. I think that would go the best over it. Well, Shiggy mashup incoming. Yep. Thank you. So, <laughs> this is beyond. If uh, you know anything about me, you know that I I love Quantic Dream. So it was really hard to pick just one for the official list. We will be talking more about <laughs> Quantic Dream. <laughs> We're going, to, we're going to talk about Quantic Dream again when we start talking about our honorable mentions. But my favorite, it was hard for me to narrow it down, like I said, but my favorite out of all of them was how I picked and beyond is uh, my favorite out of all of the Quantic Dream games. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Quantic Dream, they did Heavy Rain. They did Detroit is their newest game. Detroit Beyond or uh, Become Human. Um, beyond is... Uh, in between Heavy Rain and Detroit has stars Elliot Page. Um, and uh, it's a fantastic game. A great story. Um, this is the beginning because I know my soulmate hasn't played it yet. So there shouldn't be too many spoilers. And for anyone who hasn't played it. But I, I really can't recommend this game enough if you like story-based, decision-based games. Um, and all of Quantic Dream. All of them. Just play them all. Um, but this is my personal favorite basically a playable interactive movie the, ability to see what no human being the mechanics are really cool as with every quantic dream game really weird controls <laughs> the images the sounds the smell who's my soulmate in this game oh my soulmate <laughs> tarta tata uh in chat there is my soulmate <laughs> and shiggy is my soulmate husband if i had to say how it all in real thank life. you Make the make the distinction. Make that important distinction. <laughs> Hi. I found you by the side of the road. In the middle of I have this turned up pretty loud, so I'm sorry if it's not super. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try? Joe's to... a new friend. Joe's been hanging out with us, giving us some good insight. <laughs> reminds me of it's always sunny. Yeah. There's, There's an asterisk by Shiggy. <laughs> I have, yeah. Must have family. I get around. Friends. I have a husband, well, a twisband, a twife, a soulmate, oh, a baby daddy. Guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there are a ton of extras. I'm around the house sometimes. He's, yeah, he's around. <laughs> 
So I'll try not to have any spoilers, but I would like to get to like some gameplay. But like, yeah, you get you. It's it goes back and forth with like time timelines and stuff like that. So this is her as a little girl. And like also it, Stranger Things season three, like totally lifted from this, right? Very hard. Yeah. Not even season three, like season one. They just straight up lifted they, the, like, the mom storyline. Yes. Yeah. This. yeah. <laughs> but you know. We won't hold it against them too hard. I don't know. We'll see. I hate to love Stranger Things, but it's, you know, it's good stuff. They brought back my spirit animal. I know a writer. I have to love them. Yeah, I don't um, love that series. They, yeah, I know. I know you don't. And I, For I, I one hate was, again. Was I good. I hate to love it. Yeah, season one still fantastic, and I season one is I, love it. But they've like, straight up lifted from this game a lot. See th- that whole series. I could go on a tangent, but it is purely an amalgam of like references. Yes, so. it is. It really is, and that's why it's I say like, I hate to love it. The soundtrack is gold, also. <laughs> that's not the only song on the soundtrack. <laughs> yes, it no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna yeah so here this is actually a good a good a good way not to release spoilers so like start out with a kid and you as a kid and then you you know you, what's up with her starts to slowly become revealed and she's she's got a soul inside her which i'm not going to tell you any more about because it's part of the story but like she has like a, a ghost, basically. Oh. Yeah. And it causes a lot of problems with this family <laughs> and like yeah, here we go. It's a very invasive ghost. Stuff like this, you know. Go to your room. Nice. No. Daddy has to deal this with is the another ghost. fun go to your game. Room, honey. Yeah, this is another fun game where like you play it once, you know, the way you would, and then you go back and you play it as the devil child. Fun. It's really fun. <laughs> Because you can go real hard with the ghost, or you cannot. Have to figure out what will. Yeah. Okay. So here's another good p- example. Like she gets put into a, a home, right, for like troubled children. It's kind of like, again, fucking Stranger Things, where she gets put into like a institution, and she can possess people, or like the ghost can possess people. She can command the the ghost. But yeah. I would make him take his pants off. <laughs> and go. I'm a doofus. I'm a doofus, yeah. And Willem Dafoe. Let me out of the room. Willem Dafoe's also in it. I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I'm gonna try to skip around so you don't get like too much of the story. I just, I can't recommend it enough. Yeah, so here, you can see a little bit of like the mechanics, how they work. Nice, like it's done. I got that business. As long as you ain't killed somebody, it's fine by me. Yeah, me, we may have, me, no, yeah, doesn't. Maybe. You got some place to go. No comment. I'm not beyond Man. that. Friends, somebody's missing you. Yeah. Music's really good. Ashki, it's gonna be very sad without you. But one day I'll come back and see you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't be too sassy. Make them go up and kiss the old man. Yeah. So I won't show too much of the end just because, obviously, spoilers, but fantastic story. I, and lots of replayability. There's at least three endings that I know of. Really fantastic. If you love Quantic Dream, haven't played it. Soulmate, need you to play it. <laughs> it's good stuff. Really good stuff. But yeah, like I said, we'll talk about we'll talk about Detroit and Heavy Rain because you can't not talk about them. If you talk about Quantic Dream. 
and I'll wait for another 10 years for another one of their games yeah, to come out. the next one. <laughs> That's the only problem is that they're so complicated. Their games are so complicated that they literally take a decade. Detroit took a decade to come out pretty Yeah, much. I think it also got like restarted multiple times. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just know it took a really long time. <laughs> and it was just so worth it. So I will wait. They were they are a developer that I'm like, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to get out of this again because there's no other way. This is Shiggy's pick. And yeah, I never call people out of lurks, but Jim Jim, if you're listening, this is for you. Since you mentioned it earlier. And if you're and around later, we're probably gonna be playing. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's for me. Or what? So maybe it is me. Oh yeah, we could do that too. Oh, the music. The Monster Hunter. Oh. Is Shaggy's pick? Oh, let me fix the volume. Uh. It's like the musical equivalent of scratching your itchy back after like 20 hours. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. See, this is a good example because I... I normally don't like games like this but the first monster hunter i played was on the 3ds and i really it, that one wasn't co-op if i remember it was right oh, it was we we played yeah oh, we, we played did. together yeah see that's what i guess that's what it is is that like i like co-op things like this it's like a zoo but you're the zookeeper of with a giant sword like, but it's the how... same thing as shadow of the colossus i would i feel well... bad when i kill the monsters yeah, but I mean, I always trap the monsters. I never kill them. Right. Like, I don't that have is to a nice, that. That is a nice alternative that you can do. But when I'm beating the shit out too. of this thing with my broadsword or whatever, I just feel like it's an asshole. It's invasive, though. It's getting too close it can't to the help town. That. It's not in the wild. <laughs> yeah, well, Miyazaki made a whole bunch of movies about it. And it really Signed influenced me, okay? <laughs> I can't help it. It's how I feel because I just feel bad when I'm beating the shit out of this like sort of cute bird monster and it's just like I can't help but feel bad. I just love like the art style and like the timeline is so good. It's like kind of low fantasy and it's like yeah. prehistoric it's but cool. like not all the way. Like it's kind of cavey. Yeah. But but not all the way. It's like modern prehistoric branding. It's cool. It is a really cool franchise in a really cool universe, which is another thing oh, I like about it. Amazing. Like the palicos, that's really cool. And like the cooking and the eat, like all of that is also something that I like about it. Oh, this music is so good. Rathalos, King of the Sky, baby. Oh, fucking Rathalos. Man. He was like the original cover monster. You just see him and you're like, oh my god. Oh my you had to hide. God. You had to hide. You couldn't fight him in the beginning. You had to like hide behind rocks and like be like, come on, let's fucking like sneak. You get going pretty fast in the modern Monster Hunters where you're like not really preyed on by bigger monsters before you're ready for it in this game. Brad sort they were, of <laughs> yeah, they just bounce off and he's like, um, uh, stop hi. now. They're like, ah. Uh. There's me with a bow gun. Bow gun. Bow gun, <laughs> yeah. baby. Here we go. I love my yeah. light bow gun. That's heavy that he's using. Mm. Yeah. Boom! That's a cool oh, trailer. God. That's a cool trailer. Yeah. I The first time I saw that, I was like, do you actually do that? Could, do you do that in the game? Is that for real? Yeah. No, Don't, I would you <laughs> Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. These game, these fights in this game are the most like an action movie. I think you can. Oh, the music. Yeah, I want to show. Yeah, the music is still really good. The atmosphere is still really good because I can only attest to New Monster Hunter. It's. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong. Like this franchise hasn't really regressed, right? No, no. They 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 like progress. Yeah, that's they, what I get. They're adding new shit and keeping all of the old stuff too and like never disappointing. Like if you want a solid franchise where there's like maybe one game that's below satisfactory ever in the franchise. I read high. Cuz it's a pretty Monster long Hunter. franchise. Yeah, it's been going They've forever. Done... And it's like Capcom's 
bread and butter. Like, and they ignored it <clears throat> for so long. And I remember when Monster Hunter World, that trailer came out at E3, I like stood up out of my chair. <laughs> and I was like, that's a Rathalo sword. Hey, at what? Least, at least, yeah, at least that one lived up to the hype. Because I stood up out of my chair good. for Cyberpunk and lost my shit when that trailer yeah. came out at E3. And look like, I mean, what happened to there. The difference is, like, I was playing Monster Hunter when it was looking like this, and to, like, see it reimagined on the PS4, it was, like... Oh, yeah, I am sure. Insane. I'm I was, sure. like... Because, like, this is what it's supposed to look like. And it still it's looks like... good, and, like, you... There's so many other elements about this that help with immersion, which we've talked about a lot. Like, it's really important. Uh, and you have no trouble, even with, you know, dated graphics like this feeling a part of this village, you know, like being a part yeah. of this community, like you feel, and you still, like that's one of the things I like about Rise is that you still feel yeah. like that and it's great. And you feel like you're always improving the city and they're like yeah. asking you to take on bigger things and it's just such a good loop of like, go kill a monster, get stuff, make stuff, kill bigger monster, <laughs> just rinse or repeat. Just do that the whole game. If you want to look really cool, you have to kill this thing and you have still to never killed a Rajing. Well, we will. We will. But yeah, I'm going to skip Those around are so hard. a yeah. little bit. Oh, the fishing. There's fishing. I fished in this game so much. I think the only game I fished in more was Final Fantasy XI. Final Fantasy XIV does a good job at the fishing, too. Yeah, XI's fishing is okay. Valhalla I feel who did a, a really job. good... I think fifteen did a good job with the fishing, right? Final Fantasy XV? Um, I think... I mean, I... Where's the one? What's the one where you have to like go left when it's left and go right when it's right? That and was then you Vikings. Like... Uh, Valhalla did that. That's not what I'm thinking of. Left huh? Left. I wonder which game I'm thinking of that that had fishing like that. Maybe it this was. This is just 15. like hitting I just don't a remember button. the fishing in 15. Oh, okay. I'm. You know, fishing RPGs are a game that like. I've always meant to try like the serious fishing RPGs where you like get new lines and yeah. poles and boats and stuff. It just seems like it'd be a fun, like relaxing, casual. Oh, Especially if you could play with your friends, like MMO fishing game. That would be so tight. I'm sure I think those exists. exist too. I, yeah, I think it does exist. exist. Let's all go fishing. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm looking into that. Yeah, you should. One day, oh, I, I like when yeah, I want the power wash simulator now that I know that it's co-op too. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's cool. I'm just more fishing. This guy was fishing. Oh, the sounds just like the, the sounds are really good. It's so unique to. It, it sounds like a wood. It has like wooden tones all over the place because it's like kind of ancient sounds. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So good. Whoever the composer is did a really good job with. The mm -hmm. atmosphere they just they really did they nailed it look at that it's gorgeous yeah and it's like the art style the whole franchise they've done the same thing and it's like just made it better and better okay so i'm currently replaying this just because i, I it's like once a year thing for me i love bioshock so much and i still haven't played two or three just because i can't get over bioshock one they told me. So this is the beginning of Bioshock Son, for anyone who hasn't seen it. You're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Also why I don't like planes. I think that's the main reason people don't like planes. Bioshock? No. Uh, <laughs> plane crashes. <laughs> I don't think anybody's just like, eh, I don't really like the kind of gas they use. I've been a fan. <laughs> Not really concerned about it crashing. I just really hate the fuel economy. I love everything about this game. There is, I'll, I'll, I'll link it to the YouTube when I upload this episode. But there, if you like interactive, like ASMR, like environments while you work, there's a really good Bioshock one that I listen to a lot. But the atmosphere of this game, it's so unique. Very like Deus Ex, but mixed it's with steampunk, mixed with you, like yeah. with like cyberpunk. Like it's crazy. Which is like the Deus Ex part is yeah. cyberpunk, and and then the steam. It has like an interesting like low fantasy. Nineteen sixties, like it yeah, is very like Fallout style. Yeah, it's just kind of yeah. all over the place, but it still works. 
It's like a good amalgam of styles. Yeah, and it's just so unique. And all it keeps you guessing, which is like the main advantage the game had when I was playing it. Is like I always felt like I was like finding stuff out, <laughs> I, which was yeah. done really well. This is another game where like I've played this game for years, and like I said, I'm currently playing it again. And you, it, every game is different. Like you can play it differently every time. Have you played Deus Ex? I tried. I couldn't get into it. Which one? I don't know the one the that new you one? have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get you set up with. with it was, I don't remember what my games. problem was at this point, but it was really hard for me to play. Yeah, it got. There, I have a director's cut of that game that's like really good. And I think you I, would like I, it I a lot because it's like very branching story and like keeps you guessing. High espionage. You can I be just, like a I hacker. It was like too hard for me. I think like that the like mechanics were too hard or something. You can put it on easy, and it's I actually a game. Did. That's a game where like the easy mode is actually not just meters changing it's like actually the game changes to be easier so so yeah you have plasmids so you can be like a mage almost yeah or you can have guns and you have a mixture of both and there's crazy shit that's going on around you i just i really can't explain that's... it that's very Deus Exian to like have a power and a gun and like mixing like magic and like tech and stuff. This person's wild and I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's like like I said, like steampunky but like art deco-y. Like it's futuristic yeah. but also in the past. It's very interesting. And yeah, it's, Fallout. -y. Yeah. All Outer Worlds too is like Outer they took Worlds this game took and they were like, let's do that. And I, I'll, Outer Worlds is also on my honorable mentions list. I love the Outer Worlds. I know there's a name for this type of <laughs> style that like Fallout kind of invented. It's like retro futurism. That's yeah. what it is. Retro futurism, Definitely where you show that. like these like you know 50s style patterns, but with well, like, like all this tech. Punk. Steampunk is like it's kind of like yeah. steampunk, yeah. Because yeah. steampunk is like pirates and like it's a similar gears concept, yeah. With like right. what something, but this is like yeah, similar concept, mashing two things that aren't supposed to be together together. But you're in this like crazy town underwater, and it's just the atmosphere is really good. There's these giant fucking things running around with little girls attached to them that you have to save yeah, big or, or like. Suck their atom out, which is like their MGP sort of. Yeah, there's a lot of weird ass characters, a lot of weird ass shit going on. Oh, I'll save it for this fight, I go. You got splicers running around and this giant tank thing after you. <laughs> that one doesn't have a little girl. Oh, she, yeah, he does. So I'll let it see if he do it. Yeah, you can only rescue or harvest the little sister. Little sister, that's what they're called. But you gotta kill the thing first. You gotta kill the thing first! You can't... He's just losing it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I lost it. Yep. You blew it. Oh, yeah, there's a security camera. Oop. Okay, I don't know why the sound keeps going up, but there you go. This reminds me of Stalker a little bit, the I game. It's uh, about, like, alternate timeline where Chernobyl didn't get contained and, like, the area Ooh. got radiated and, like, everyone... There's like really strange occurrences. Tarkov is pretty much based on Stalker. There's like strange occurrences and just like a zone and like radiation. Uh oh. Oh, they're saving her. <laughs> but you can't harvest her. <laughs> Which is another a replayability aspect of this game if you ever, you know, want to not harvest them. You go back and play where you harvest them and see how it influences the game because it does. Sending a little one to help you on your way. But anyway, I just love the atmosphere of this game so much. <laughs> Very Fallout New Vegas atmosphere. Which I also never played. I was too late for that one. 
Oh, an action shot. Nice. Yeah, you can take pictures to analyze. But anyway, Bioshock. Fantastic game. Something for everyone. Yeah, I won't uh, spoil too much. I just wanted to really show off what's going on in this game without giving too much away. <laughs> I still haven't played a game like it, really. It's like sort of Skyrimy with like the the magic or like the plasmids, but the setting is unlike any I've seen. Yeah, Dishonored really lifted from this game too. Alright. Yeah, there's there's also three. Like I said, I, I, I am trying to play them. That's what I'm trying to do by replaying it now is actually play all three of them because I got the bundle, but <laughs> I still have never gotten past uh, I've never gotten past the first one because it's just that good. Alright, this is yours, Shiki. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, this... We're getting to top threes now. Yeah. Yeah, this was my favorite game for a long time. How do you, like, follow up Metal Gear Solid? That's so crazy and it looks so different. Like, the graphics when Metal Gear Solid 1 came out were totally different. Mr. Gear Solid. Mr. Gear Solid. Oh, the song. So good. This like is definitely Phil Lamar. Yeah. You can skip forward a little bit. I was just saying they're setting the scene. Oh yeah, yeah. This is just like the beginning cinematic. Doesn't really. Kuma! Snake! 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 <laughs> like, the graphics in this game are incredible. This is PlayStation 2. What's going on, Kuma? Thank you for those biddies. What's up, Kuma? How are you doing? Yeah, the graphics are really good. Was this is PS2? how you sequel a game. This is PS2, yeah. PS2 was a great console. That looks like PS3, in Boom. my opinion. Just Look at that booty! Step ahead of their time. Get that yeah. booty. Get that snake booty. And then you spend the whole whole game not even playing as Snake. Spoiler alert. Oh. Yeah, but Hideo Kojima only advertised Snake the whole time. He didn't even advertise the other guy. What and a then troll. you just play as the other guy the whole time, and all the game reviewers were like, "This game confused me, and That's I don't I like it very much." Resident <laughs> Evil just did that, where they were like in the for the spoilers for the new one, we're like. Chris Redfield shows up all of a sudden, and you're, or Chris Redfield shows up all of a sudden, and you're just like, oh, am I gonna play as him? And then, like, he just shows up out of nowhere, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Then tell me I that. just, uh, this whole game is just like, but then, you find out. Like, that's the whole game. Just you continually learning double crossings and triple crossings. Yes. <laughs> I do remember that from a gameplay I watched. I don't know if it was this one or not. Like, those cutscenes are insane for their time. Oh, like, no, I, I remember seeing play. this. I remember seeing this, like, in a tech demo or something like that, and just being like, there's no way this is gameplay footage. It's asinine. There's that no can't way. happen. There's no way. It's just beyond our time. Just got home from taking my vehicle in for an oil change and tire replacement. How responsible. <sighs> Day's going well. Just chilling, yeah. talking about video games. We're getting into our top three here. And then we have a whole bunch of honorable mentions to still talk about. We'll take a quick break in between the list and the honorable mentions. But, um, yeah, we're, this is, I think, two, two for you, Shiki? No, it's three. Three. Yeah. 
The sounds have always been great. Did you great. find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude. Sweet, made it to the top of the ship. around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas. It's so cool how they choose to present the story, like, through these codec messages. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just so Metal Gear Solid. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operation. And so you get this whole, like, unreliable thing. Like, because you can't know that that person is even that person because you're just transmitting to them via, like, a codec. Like, you, you're tricked all the time via that medium of, like, you don't really know. It makes you sus of, like, everything during these conversations because you're like, dude, this could just be the fucking government blasting stuff at me right now. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, I'll just President, jump real quick ahead. Right. Yep, and then you're that guy for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. What you do yep. isn't grassroots activism. And you it's actually like meet terrorism. Snake in the game, and he's takes on a different persona that called Iroquois Pliskin, which is like an obvious reference to Snake Pliskin from Escape from L.A. Uh, and he, so he's going by a reference of the thing he was created for, or like from, because Kojima has said multiple times that Kurt Russell in Escape from L.A. is like pretty much where like Solid him. Snake I mean, came yeah, from. Yeah. Oh, Phil Lamar. Yeah, there's a vampire in the game. He's a, like, just a vampire, and you're just like, oh, is it like, he has like a blood disease, and the game's like, no, he's no, actually he's just, just a vampire. A vampire. <laughs> and you're just like, what? There's a vampire? I appreciate this supposed the to be, like, realistic of Hideo Kojima, so I just, we just accept the music. it. If I, ah. Oh. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. Uh, uh, she oh. was. <laughs> She was. Uh, oh, mermaid too. Okay. Oh yeah, he's a uh, kind of a mermaid vampire situation. He loves the water. Mermaid vampire. That's pretty fun. Arsenal is still armed with a purified. Oh, and of course, in every Metal Gear Solid game, there's like a shitload of exposition between every boss. Like, I don't know why I'm sharing this information with you. <laughs> It's top secret. But I but need to for the story to progress. <laughs> There's an array of nuclear weapons. And he just gets like phone calls. He's like, hold on, I'm explaining it to him. What do you mean I should? Well, he was asking. <laughs> I thought that protocol was transparency. It becomes large capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. I still haven't played like MGS, but I, you know I've watched. I've, I think I've watched Ren play a few of if them. You if you've ever been watching a cutscene and a cutscene comes in, you know you're playing Metal Gear Solid. And you're like, wait, is this a cutscene in this cutscene? He does that in Death Stranding, <laughs> like, yeah. which was like the first Hideo Kojima game I played. Yeah, Telltale Kojima. Yeah. He's like. In order to explain this exposition, we're going to need a fair amount of exposition. This is going to get a little complicated, his, so try to keep up. Yeah, because like that was the first time he got to go off on his own. So like it was super, yeah. super coach him. Well, I mean, this was on his own. Like Metal Gear Solid One, Two, and Three, and parts of Four, where like he had pure creative control. It was Ko Konami, but he had 100% creative control of those games. Well, that's how it. So this is like pure Kojima, but like four and five get muddy with that. Like you should play again. I just love how the bosses and the main characters get so to know each other so much. It is in only that's Kojima smart. games. Yeah, I really like that because it's, it's just you know it makes it harder. It's like Heat, where so you're like you got to get to know your yeah. like competition. It makes it harder to do your job. <laughs> I'm a cop. <laughs> if you die, the best in the game. You're welcome, everyone. I made Shiggy watch Heat, and now he has new <laughs> Al Pacino content for you. Getting a divorce. <laughs> she got a great ass. <laughs> Trying to follow this guy down the street. Right. There are all Star Blast! Behind your selection. <laughs> Solidus brings plenty of other child soldiers. Oh, you know shit. why we chose you over them? But you haven't watched Heat. Oh, well, okay, now there's just like footage. Earth okay. Not be forever. Oh, yeah, there's a fair amount of piano monologues <laughs> going on. <laughs> you like that, but you have a problem with the acoustic guitar. There ending? is no acoustic guitar going on. And so this is it's not just a pop the instrument song. that you have this a problem with. 
Yes, and also the <laughs> redoing of pop songs just on a piano. That is fucking lazy as fuck, and, <laughs> and I am over a, it. It's the same thing. No, it's an original song. Sure. Like, it's a composition on the piano. It's music. So it's the... not just like, my heart will go on, but on a fucking <laughs> <God>. piano. <laughs> like, it takes time. Okay, okay. Won't you take me down? <laughs> To funky town. New Batman movie, Batman. can't wait. Did you find the oh my god. Post? Oh yeah, after credits scene. It contains the He's fucking talking to the president. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. And you're just like, what the fuck is going on in this game? That's what you're thinking. It's just like, what is happening? Is it over? Like, That's the Hideo Kojima <laughs> game for you. <laughs> yeah. There's like four endings. You think and four dead. times. They're already dead. All twelve, Everyone's and like all dead. the leaders of the world are all dead. Oh, okay. What the what? hell? What the hell? You just like beat the game, and they're just like. Metal oh, by the way, every everyone, everyone's di died. I think. Are you were a double agent or something? All right, see ya. All right. And they're just like what? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> see you, later. you just have to make the snake disgruntled noises, and then Oof. you're done playing. <laughs> <laughs> The art style has always been really cool, and they have always had oh, a good the sound UI. as well. The UI and the art style is just so spy thriller. Oh my so god, fantastic! Oh my god, so Dragon Age Inquisition. I've talked about it before, but we talked about the music, so now we're going to talk about the gameplay because holy shit, this is like my number two. If you like fantasy games, if you like really deep RPG games and like decision based and everything, like I just played this and now I'm gonna have to go reinstall it and play it again. So good. A lot of really Isn't a new rich... one coming out? The new one's coming out next year. It was supposed next to come year. out it was supposed to come out this month, but they pushed it and I'm upset, but also not really because yeah, we've talked about this it. Yeah, it's good that they pushed it. I'm upset it because I right was now. all ready to like take time off of work and like I have been waiting for the new Dragon Age to come out. <laughs> yeah, you should take time off work when that comes oh, out. Oh, I'm going to. And I was like, because that's why I looked, and that's how I found out that it got pushed. Because I was like, mm. all right, when is this coming out? <laughs> I'm going to take like a Friday and a Monday off, play it all weekend, and I'll probably beat it. But like, Dragon Age, Inquisition. I haven't played any of the others, but I, I can't stop. I played the first one. Yeah, I can't stop playing this one. It's so good. It just, no other game comes close to it for me with, like, the character decisions. Like, how in-depth you can get with your character. Like, like in-depth character creation. There's, the story is really good. The music is fantastic. And the relation, I have a clip after this that is, like, a mild spoiler for, like, one of the relationships you can have. Because you can have romantic as well as platonic relationships with multiple people in your group and so i have a really funny clip um after this the last time i played and i with like the person i chose but this is like the beginning of the game where you like you get held hostage because you witness an event where like the like their the divine they call her died uh, uh... so you're automatically suspected because you were the not only so one. divine i guess you were the only one there and yeah so like Really in-depth dialogue choices. Every Very character, Mass yeah, like every character, you have to interact with them in a certain way. Like Cassandra, she's spicy. You gotta, you know, kind of placate her. Yes. So it is Mass Effect, like straight yes. up. Like it is probably the engine in Mass Effect because, it's like, Bioware did it. Very possible. Yeah, they have really good, like, okay, Bioware used to, there was this game that they did, well, Nice Little Republic, of course, but like, uh, and that's the precursor to these games, but then also Jade Empire, there was this martial arts RPG that was like branching stories and like Telltale, you know, um, Bioshocks, or sorry, Bioware, <clears throat> Telltale Bioware style, and it was so cool, and it, like, you really do see, like, the influence in mm -hmm. Dragon Age, but they do stuff that's totally unique in this game, too. Will be easy. Ugh, it's just so good. And this, the music is fantastic. The story is really good. The graphics are amazing. I, I just don't have a complaint about this game, really. Except uh, I romanced somebody in this game once and they jilted me in real life. And it was like, 
hard for me to accept. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't played Dragon Age Inquisition and you're a fan of fantasy RPGs with really rich dialogue choices and good story and just a lot of customization, can't recommend this game enough. I've spent a lot of hours in this game. And you're trying to fix this hole in the sky right there. Yeah. That's how it begins. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, I am left to question all I have to yeah. I'll just skip around again to try to minimize spoilers. There's some gameplay. So you go out and do, you discover the world with like a group of four people. You can change your group because you're, you know, more people come and join the Inquisition, which you become the Inquisitor pretty quickly. <laughs> As a fan more of Diablo, I love Diablo too. Diablo is a great honorable mention. You should, Kuma. Dragon Age Inquisition is so fun. I can't recommend it enough. We're on. This is my second, so like we're we're almost through our official list, and then we have a few uh, honorable mentions to go through for sure. But yeah, I, Kuma, just yeah, you absolutely have to play this. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. You're betraying your mentor because but yeah, basically fantasy Mass Effect. <laughs> Yeah. Meaning he's not any longer. Not for some Which Mass Effect is kind of space, space. Jade Empire, and then Jade Empire's martial arts. Star Wars. Like, they've been remaking kind of the same game well for, like, years. They like, have a great system. Like, just uh, keep applying it to different IPs, and, like, it'll do really well. Yeah. Because, like, I can't get into Mass Effect as much as I want to. So, and I've played Dragon Age Inquisition multiple times. Yeah. They've always, like, appealed to a lot of people because they do a lot of different stuff. But the same, like, core concept of, like, you can make branching decisions and, like, Get your own things. castle at one point that you can sort of customize. I hope that that's something in the new one that they do a little better. I hope you can customize your whatever a little more, whatever they decide to do. Yeah. Scout Hardy. Your worship. But you can pretty much romance every per person that you can talk to. Like this, you know, not every single, you know, NPC, but like all of the characters that you have some sort of a relationship with. You can romance them all. You can be dicks to them. You can like <laughs> you can be nice to them. You can do whatever you want. It's great. A lot of lot of uh customization going on. There's the map. You can fast travel. But yeah, I've, you know, you can spend a lot of time in this game for sure. We should get to the ritual tower in the western approach as soon as possible, your worship. Yeah, I just played this and I want to play it again. <laughs> That's another one I re this is another one I replay a lot. Yes, you do. Yeah. So good. Another one that will change every time you play it. A lot yeah, of replayability. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. Because you can be different classes, and I'm usually a rogue. That's, you know, I've played it enough to be like, that's the that's the class I like. But it's, it's really good. It's a great way to stay in shape. It's a great way to stay in shape. So I'm just going to skip it really quick. And this is... <laughs> So this is my game play, <laughs> and I just wanted to show it because it's really funny, and I think it really highlights the game really well. So I, I in my last game play, I, I romanced a character called Ro uh, Iron Bull. This is my character that I created. That's really all the context you need. This is pretty late into our into the game, into our relationship. Mm. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> it's stuff Pick like that. You're just parts. like, and I'm really sorry. I, this is before I realized that you're just automatically recorded on the PS5 controller, so you will hear some mic noises and me laughing because it's. <laughs> I'm really sorry in advance. I really didn't know that the microphone was on all the time. He's got something for me too. And I'm sorry. This is as loud as I could make it. Sorry to disturb oh. your rest, Inquisitor, <laughs> but our fort isn't here. Oh, sweet little major. Colin, how's it going? How's it going? Everyone goes. I thought perhaps we... Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Can I help either of you with something? Do you need something? Hello? Uh, I'm so... <laughs> Trying to bang my beast man. What do you want? Thanks. Oh, 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 jeez. The mayor comes in. <laughs> I have some documents I wanted you to like go. Like my Whoa! entire, all of my, all of my advisors come in, and you're just like, she's the one who's been taking it. I apologize for interrupting what I assume was a momentary diversion. I'm dead. On, I'm dead. Nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. Who wouldn't be a little curious? Yeah. <laughs> you hear me laughing. Oh, shit. That's so funny. <laughs> More than just a momentary diversion, and Bull and I intend to continue. Is that a problem? No. No. A surprise, I'll admit. But not a problem. <laughs> we'll leave you be. Yes. Do enjoy yourself. <sighs> you okay, boss? I'm just trying to recover. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm just dying. Because <laughs> Shiggy was asleep when this was happening, so I was trying to laugh really quietly. <laughs> A dragon split in two. So no matter how far away, oh, shit. Takes us, we're always together. Not often people surprise me, Kadan. 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 My heart. Kadan. Hey. Hey. Anyway, just thought that was a really funny clip, and it's like the best cutscene I think I've ever seen in a, in a game. <laughs> oh, it's just so funny! Oh my god! So I had to include that. I uploaded it on my YouTube too. It's just like it's just funny. But yeah, this this is real like real gameplay. This is a, just a clip I made on the PlayStation when I last played it because I was just like I have to keep that forever. But yeah, um, that's this game, Dragon Age Inquisition. Play it. Love it, be it. Similar worlds, fantasy. Yeah. I can't yeah, play this. This is game. my number two. My number two game for sure. I think I've. This game probably was the the turn for me into like RPGs, at least Western RPGs. I really wish that I had played it when it came out because I can see that, but I just can't go back. I don't know. Yeah, when it when it came out, like if a game was three D, it was like a dungeon crawler, and you had to like press forward, and you went forward a block, press forward, went forward a block, and like having total like sandbox freedom, being able to kill story characters and and shit, and like so many different weapons and armor, and like all these like houses, like of people, like there are like different royalty houses of of dark elves and like they all that do very cool. different stuff and it's not even main story that's not even main story very Final that's Fantasy just like 14 yeah yeah wake up wake up wake up i did like this idea of the quiz in the beginning as a way oh to... how you make your class yeah that was this game right yep i think that's a really that's a really cool idea and that's how Mass Effect 2 works if you don't play the first one. What is that? God oh, mode? Oh, I guess you turned to God mode on. I didn't okay. know you could do that. Oh, so you're a god now. Quiet. You sound like a god. Yeah, it's really not fair when Jeremy Sewell does the soundtrack. It's just I not. Know. <laughs> and, like, uh, it, it's it's just such a good game where you start out as like less than nothing, but like by the end of it, you're like an ultra powerful, like 
renowned kind of like figure like people recognize you and stuff mm-hmm. it's very cool and it's just like the I side stories i would i would get lost in the side stories and just I don't, i've never beat the main story in this game and i played it it's like my second favorite game i played it so much and i've still never beat the main story i just remember the fact that you could pick up books and read them like blew my mind yeah the first time i played skyrim i read a lot of books yeah there was more than once i logged in and ended up just reading books and dungeons for the whole time (laughs) and i just loved the idea that you could kill people and like take their armor like you could just if you kill them you could take it like if you could take them yeah and it just kind of like took the training wheels off and i feel like they've definitely put them on it's after this you're you're, he's picking his race first but yeah they the current elder scrolls games are like so training wheelsy it's i could have sworn that on the boat but yeah you would know no he's in the census office it's uh the census taker guy yeah that's such a cool idea yeah immersion immediately ah yes this guy (laughs) yeah Sokushis Ergala? Sokushis Ergala. Oh, the music. Oh, he's not gonna do it. No, he's that's like the coolest part. It's like the questionnaire. Oh, I'm but yeah, like of course the music Skip. from this game also a huge inspiration. I should just watch this because me. I am curious in the story, but I can't play this I can't do the role based stuff. I mean you get good with it. your weapon after like thirty minutes of using it. If they would update this game, I would be into it. I, there's one called uh, More Oblivion or something where it's like Skyrim's engine, but Morrowind's content. I mean, I would be into that, honestly. Yeah. I can't vouch if it's good or not. I have never played it. But this is like, yeah, we've got some some stuff going on here. Now we got like a Warhammer and like... Yeah. I can tell he's going really fast. He has like some magic spells and stuff. He's been all over the map. You see all those points. This is like an hour and a half into the <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah. And he's like a speed runner, I think. Because he's or already he sped been it to up. a lot of places. It looks like he's or also he sped, sped it up. up. I just remember like the the dungeon crawling was so good. This like, reminds me of that screensaver like <laughs> in the 90s. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This game really like took out the procedural aspect from Daggerfall, but it replaced it with like very good hand curated stuff. And I love the way the dialogue works, how it's like a Wikipedia style and you can just yeah. click on stuff and learn about it. There's always a lot of reading in an Elder Scrolls game. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like it's not a game you can play when you're tired because you're just like, oh, I can't read anymore. Yeah. I just skipped like so long and we're still talking to this guy. <laughs> And you can, and I love the cross references. Like you can learn about Oblivion in Morrowind. You can learn about Morrowind in Skyrim, like through books and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and NPCs. It's so cool. I do like that. And like they're mythical figures in each of these games, and you can like read about the Dragonborn in Morrowind. There's a book about the Dragonborn, and like just the way they intertwine is very cool. Yeah. You uh, and all right. I I spent so much time playing this game, so much time. So many unique items, and you could also craft magic. You could make magic in this game. They took that away. Like oh. you could create spells. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Magic crafting. I guess you can kind of do that with enchanting, and maybe that's yeah, what they replaced that's, it with. They had enchanting in this, too. Oh. And it kind of worked like enchanting, actually, the, the spell craft. It was a lot like enchanting. Maybe they just thought that was too similar. Maybe, yeah. But it was the most fun part of the game, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Like, you could make magic that would do literally like you whatever make you potions. wanted. Yep. That the, the always been alchemy too, and I've mm. always been an alchemist when I play these games. Always, it was very fun. Oh, what is I'm that? actually not an alchemist in my current gameplay. I'm an enchanter. Dang. I'm enchanter oh, got mage. Like a, got like some kind of mythic weapon there or something. Oh, hell yeah! God, what a grand and intoxicating innocence. 
Uh oh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I think that's like the boss. Like the final boss. Oh shit. It is the end of the playthrough. If this is, yeah. a full, if this is the full playthrough. The, I think that's Day Gother. It took him four hours to beat this game. You can beat it faster even. But like I have I have like 200 hours and I've never even beat the main yeah. story. Yeah. It was so crazy when you got to go to the Morrowind Island in Skyrim. Yeah, that is very cool. The graphics are very good for the time as well. I don't know if this is like the updated yeah. version or not, but like it's, you know, I even don't think so. I did like the, what I did play. I didn't play any updated version and it was still very good. And then this game came out in 2000. Okay. We're going to massively switch Oh, wait, gears. this is your. This is my second. It's your second. Okay. This is my second top game. Of all time, one day I will take a photo of the tattoo that I got. It's like the biggest tattoo I got, inspired by this game. And uh, I've talked about it a lot. Um, we talked about it on the Gaming Soundtracks Brunch show because its soundtrack is fantastic. Austin Wintry is up there with Jeremy Sewell, in my opinion. Um, and he, this is the first video game. And I don't know about to date. I keep meaning to look it up. But this soundtrack was nominated for a Grammy. And it was the first video game soundtrack to be nominated for a Grammy. If that's any consolation. But this game, um, I can't recommend enough. It's always um, very well priced. Never very expensive. It's like $15 ever. It's called Journey. You can beat it in two hours. You can beat it in four hours. You can, you know, definitely beat it in a single sitting. One of the most interesting multiplayer games. One of the prettiest multiplayer games. Where you're literally just this little dude in the desert trying to reach a mountain. And that's it. I'll just let the... This is the opening cinematic here. Best sand in any video game. I will definitely agree with that. The sand like blew me out of the water. I was like, whoa. Play this holy on the highest shit. definition console that you have PC, whatever. Like, play it in 4K, the highest definition you can. to go uh, uh, Halloween as this guy. I would love to. And this is like the most epic opening also. Just wait. You're just like, uh, oh, I'm gonna cry. Online play disabled. Well, shit. We're not gonna get an example of the multiplayer, but hey, it'll leave you something to figure out. It's really cool. You never get to talk to the other person. If you do meet someone, you don't you're not guaranteed to meet people. Yeah. But if you do, you don't verbally talk to them. You don't even know who they are until the very end. Like, you know, you can't like add them on whatever until the, the very first end. time I played through this. There's a random person I found in the very beginning. We did the whole thing. Ready? I have goosebumps. I get goosebumps every time. And then you go fucking sand gliding. And then, yeah, they just, like, set you free. That's it. And you're like, what the hell do I do? Like, you're just in the middle of the desert? Yeah. I went sand gliding so much. Oh, my God. There's a whole level where you just surf on the sand. Yeah. So it's the best level. Play this so we get out too. I'm gonna play all of these things. (laughs) 
So yeah, there's a lot of these little things around the world that you have to collect. You build your scarf. You fly around. And if you get, like, if you 100% this game, you get a white cloak, which gives you a, a, like, a pretty long scarf that every time you touch the ground it regenerates, so you don't have to collect the little scarf things to you see how it's lit up now. That means you can fly, and when you, it's all dark when you can't, you've, yeah, like this, watch. You can see it's all gone now. But then, yeah, those little things will replenish it again. But when you touch the ground as a white cloak, it'll just automatically regenerate. So, I just wanted to set the scene a little bit. I'll skip around. That's how you communicate, that little thing. You just, you just kind of beep at each other if you do meet someone. So you get, it's, it's a really interesting way to communicate because you have to figure out how to non-verbally communicate. Yeah. And you'll, you can spam also, it no a lot if you want them to come over, right. You literally have no way to communicate other than the beeping, and it's just an, a, such an interesting concept. And that's also how you interact with things. But the sounds are great. It's just so good. It's a unique as hell game. I've never played anything like it. Yeah, but that game company is always like very unique. Yeah, I was just gonna say that like if you like games like that, I can't recommend every game from that game company. This is my favorite one. I found Flow particularly difficult to play, but Flo that's is just hard. me. Flower is great. Flower is fantastic. We talked about that on the game soundtrack because it's yeah. Uh, was that also Austin Wintery? Yeah. Yeah. He's done so many good soundtracks now. Like Abzu. I believe it was anyway. Abzu was great. Another really pretty chill game where it's all underwater. But yeah, you like to build this bridge. I'm trying to get here we go. Here's this, there's this. Surf sand. Yeah. Free Willy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but see how pretty the sand is like it's like glitter it's beautiful it's just a pretty game and this doesn't this doesn't do it justice because i'm streaming no, it so yeah. like i really can't recommend you play it on your own enough like play it if you have ps5 ps4 like play it on that but yeah I'll, i'm not gonna spoil too much oh this is like my favorite level besides the sand surfing. And if you ever run across me, I can show you every secret in the game. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if I can get to the... Hold on. Because this is the best cinematic. This is especially good if you have a... Um, it's especially impactful, this scene you're about to see if you met someone already at this point in your journey. So it's called Journey. Is it gonna go? There we go. Yeah, it's great. Good stuff. So if you met someone, there would be another little person with you, and you're just like, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You just like start crying. <laughs> <laughs> but this person turned off online play for some unknown reason. But it's like your whole journey so far. Yeah. Right? 
Ready? time to go but and then they're like okay are you you haven't recovered from that at all it's time to go, go on your journey <laughs> you're almost there you're almost there buddy but then you're like i'm a huh i'm an ugly cry i'm ugly crying i don't want to go, go any further <laughs> i don't want to go anymore anyway yeah that's an especially impactful scene if you're with somebody and you form this, like, bond with the person. It's really crazy. Yeah, definitely. It's really cool. And it's a really great... It's just a beautiful game all around in every aspect. So I'm not going to play any more of it because I want you to go play it. So that's Journey. One of the best soundtracks ever as well. Yeah. Oh, Journey. I'm going to have to go play that after this because it's only, like, two hours. Love this right. game. Yeah. No, 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 no. The sounds. <laughs> Katamari Damashi, which is no stranger to this channel. I don't even want to turn it down, but I will. Here's the beginning of Katamari Damashi, just no context. This game pretty much grabbed me from the beginning. Oh yeah, it's hard not to. You're just like, what the hell was going on? <laughs> After I like watched this, I was like, the Japanese are better at making games than us. <laughs> yeah. like, it's yeah. quite evident as produced in the evidence here. The Royal Rainbow is like one of my favorite things. The fish going up on the balloon. Like, That's what? the opening cinematic. You're just like, what? And the abusive, like, father. It's so so yeah, you funny. play as Prince. This little green guy is Prince. That's your dad, king of all cosmos. Mm -hmm. And he got drunk and blew up all the stars, and you have sure to roll did. up stuff on the, the earth to make stars. Is this a Monty you're... Python video game? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Kind of. One of the weirder Monty Python <laughs> sketches, yeah. <laughs> But the control scheme is also nothing I've ever seen. Like, totally unique control scheme. They, Yeah, I will say that if you've never played this game, and even if you have, the controls are hard to get used to. Don't let them frustrate yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, because then it starts to really make sense after a while. After a while of playing them. it, you like feel the Katamari. Right. It's hard to get used to. Katamari Reroll was actually pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I beat that. That was amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go play that too. <laughs> also, a really good, really good sounds. There we go. So your your goal in these levels is to make this ball that you're rolling as big as possible. This is like, in my opinion, why video games were made. Yeah. Like this is the best expression of the medium. Like something you can only you can't write a book about this. You can't do it in a movie. No. It has to be a video game. Yeah. 100%. Played this on a 16 parallel CRT monitor. Oh, damn. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Like, possibly the best soundtrack of all time in a video game. I think so. I think it's the best game and soundtrack of all time. That's This is, like, the culmination of teams of people going, like... Ooh, I freaking guess so. Yeah, Rock the rainbow! rainbow. 
It's just like, how do we end the level? I got it. Rainbow out of the king's right. mouth. Just vomits Bleh. a rainbow. Bleh. And the instructional videos. And like the side stories in this game, like everything's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so that's this that's this game. You really can't do a game better than this, in my opinion. Uh, there's not one like it, that's for sure. Like, it's it's definitely one of the most, if not the most unique game I've ever played. It's like a celebration of video games in every facet of it. It's just, there's nothing else like it. Oh, nice one. Oh, it's so satisfying when you get shit like that, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the king, like, interrupting you, you're timed, but he's just like, hey, what's up? So hard to, yeah. <laughs> the game just, like, in the special presence and stuff, there's, like, so many collectibles, and... Yeah. The ending is You can is unlock epic. all the different... Like, yeah, always the endings are epic it's in these games. So Get those cassette tapes, baby! Oh, you can't get them yet. Oh, yeah, you can. No, you can. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When you start rolling up people, it's like my I love it. <laughs> They're like screaming. <laughs> yeah, <that's so> funny. <laughs> and you're just like grooving to Japanese music. Yeah, you're just like. <laughs> and they're like. Ah! <laughs> We'll report and he's just mother. like talking to he's just talking at you and you're like get out, get of, out of the way <laughs> I have to like see get them cherries yeah yeah jump up there yeah 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 Get up there, yeah. I remember I was going over to my friend's house to play Morrowind, but, like, they had this game, and then I was like, what is this game? What is <laughs> I'm, gonna, this? I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check this game out. So before I played it, somebody tried to explain this game to me, and I was like, no? <laughs> what? You roll up stuff in the world? I don't get it. Like, it's just one of those games you have to play and watch. Like, it's <laughs> not explainable. No. Nah. It's not. It's just... You try to explain it, and you're like, you can't. You just you sound insane. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just like it's got something for everybody. Oh, got the bird. Oh, the lollipops. It's game over. And like really good Katamari players are like hypnotizing to watch. Seriously, like Google or like YouTube, like speedruns or something. I'm sure they're they are. I was I was in. This is the game that I would speedrun if I was doing speedruns. I just think speedruns do a disservice to the game. So I never- Oh, no, really? I think they're complimenting the game Maybe. by somebody saying like, I love this game so much, I want to do it as fast as possible, like, competitively. I guess. That's I don't know, I, I never do got speedrunning. If, if, if that's your thing, I don't mean to offend you, but... I just don't get it. I would rather take my time and enjoy a game. Me too, usually. That's just but me. like, speedrunning is like a commitment in my mind. Like, yeah. you've got to really like something to, to sure, try speedrunning. Sure, sure. I can agree with that. Okay. He's like well over the thing, so I'm just gonna skip so you can see more of the game. But this is the map. It's just a globe. It's the world. Like everything is. Oh, the beginnings. Yes. <laughs> oh, Tai Tai, did you you started playing it? How do you like it so far? It's just a nice chill game too. Like if you're just like chilling, like watching something, especially since it came out on the Switch. It's just a fun like game to, you know, waste some time with. I think this might be top three songs in this game for me. I love this song. Yeah, the soundtrack is just unmatched. It really is. 
<laughs> You're just like, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. He's still get out of the way. I love, I love that he just talks to you. He just of course we will time. put this in our diary. You're like, is this information I need to know? Is this pertinent right now? Right now. Right now. And it's not. It never is. He's just rambling all the time. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of like a dick. It's so funny. <laughs> I always imagined Ron Burgundy playing this part. <laughs> yes. We got it now. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> oh, and he can't. And no matter how you do in the level, unless you like hundred percent it, the the king will be very dissatisfied with what you did. Not happy. Like, he'll be like, "This is like way too small." Yeah, like watch. He'll, this is 80 centimeters. This is 30 centimeters more. Plus, he's gonna do better. He's not even done yet, and he'll still be yeah. like, "This is." This is dumb. You He's like, I guess best. we can turn this into like a comet. Like, I, it's not really a star. We'll let it play through the end. So, like, I want you to see how dissatisfied he will probably be. But, um, best music. Interesting game. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> we were gonna let him uh, roll up. Yeah, he's almost done. So, we were gonna let him roll up and just to show you, like, he has well exceeded the goal, and they're still going to be like, well, it's all right. Oh, that siren is so <laughs> stress-inducing. Yeah, it is. Ah! 90 centimeters, you got it. Yeah. He's like well, well exceeded by like 40 centimeters. He's not even letting us read it. Real rainbow! Royal rainbow! It's the most satisfying thing ever. I miss the full yeah. screen royal rainbow, though. Yeah, that's Rave. in the sequels. Ray for the siren. Yeah, see, ready? He's probably gonna be like, this. "Oh yeah, we are moving." We are moving. Oh, so he oh, did he likes good. It. <laughs> well, <laughs> he must be special. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. <laughs> but yeah, okay, we're just gonna let it play out because this is the da, end. Da da da. Yeah. Mistero star. Okay, this is my top choice. I think it's going to be a lot of people's top choices. Ocarina of Time, baby. This game turned me into a gamer. So it is my top pick of all time. So good. Music, best soundtrack ever. Best soundtrack ever. Still currently, my alarm sounds, all the things. Oh my god, I love this game. Yes, me too, Ren. I... Like I said, this game turned me into a gamer. I will attribute it with that. Yeah. There's no there's no sound here, just so you know. But yeah. I keep meaning to charge my 3DS so I can play it. Empa is like the coolest character ever. Da, da. <laughs> oh, we don't we could do without Navi though. <laughs> Listen! Hey! Listen, let me tell you something I already- you already know! I probably already told you. <laughs> okay, so, I'm just gonna skip around. Cause I'm sure most- most people are, are familiar with this game. Ugh. Oh, story time. Just the music. There's no other game like this for me as far as the music goes. Yeah, music is very good. Isn't it Koji Kondo? Uh, you think I'm so? not sure. I'm not I'll sure. I'll look it up. Unclear. I want to say that's right, but I'm not sure. Koji Kondo. Force? Yeah, well, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
once you have somebody like that on the payroll to do your music, it's just you can't go back. Oh, this is like by the Goron place, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go to Lon Lon. Yeah. Here we go. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Mm -hmm. Ugh, the sound, everything is just so good. Yeah. I gotta find my 3DS charger. Oh, let's go, Tola! I would just hang out in Kakariko Village and just chill. <laughs> Gold Skull Tola. <sighs> all the mini games, all the things you can do. Characters, the realms. Could you fish in this game? You could, yes. right? Yeah. It was a mini game, I think, only. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Running around, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, got the Ocarina of Time. Yeah, baby. All good stuff. I always have to, like, ugh, that one where you have to carry that chick everywhere. It's the worst. Yeah. yeah. I really just, like, I stopped playing there a lot because I'm just like, I can't. I can't do it. It's so hard. And then, like, you have to go all the way back to the beginning if you lose her. This game is pretty hard overall, I think. Yeah. Like, all the Zelda games are, like, a little challenging. They're, like, easy but hard. Yeah. Yeah. This is where you learn the Bolero of Fire, which is my favorite Ocarina <laughs> song. Shut your fucking mouth, Twife. Shut up. Don't tell You've me never that. Never seen Ocarina of Time. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Interesting. It's so good. Definitely a great game. Recommend. Second best Zelda there is. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want that sound to play in real life when I do a thing that's like leads me to a better thing. Yeah, just have it like on like on repeat. Like when I get paid from my work, <laughs> I want that sound to play, and I'm like, ooh, oh, yeah. That's what ha That's the sound when I log into my bank account. <laughs> oh, this is a fun level, but also really hard. Oh, you got got. Ow. What's the runner guy? Hey, runner. Hey, runner guy. I missed the Temple of Time, I guess. That's like my favorite. It's like the choir. <laughs> Yeah, taking me back right now. So we're all desert, you know? <sighs> it's just all so good. I can't, can't handle it. This is like, you know, it blew my tiny mind. 
This was like one of the first video games I played and it was just like, this isn't fair to other video games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how I feel about Katamari. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's another one where it's just like, well, GG's. Mega Man Legends? Oh my god, that game, oh, that, I forgot about that game, that should have been on my top. Final Fantasy VII, I still need to play that one, don't hate me. Final Fantasy is a, another, it's like Elder Scrolls, where I didn't get into it until 14, so I've kind of gone backwards, I played 15, I need to play 7. Diablo 2, yeah. Yeah, Diablo is a, uh, yeah, Kumo mentioned that earlier, Di Diablo is definitely an honorable mention. Great I stuff. can't believe I forgot about Mega Man Legends. That was one of my favorite games growing up. I don't know what Silencer 3D is. Mega Man. Uh, it's Silencer. It's like that old, very old game, if I remember correctly. Great list. Great list. I will Good look. List, I'm, yeah. I, I wrote down Mist and Daggerfall. Though I'm, I'm afraid Daggerfall might be... Yeah. I don't think that's going to be your jam. Yeah. It's gonna maybe be like watch more a wind. Of it. Yeah, maybe. I do want to play Mist. I will look into that. For sure. Yeah, that'll still hold up for you. Yeah. There's there's my soulmate. Yeah. 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 Well. Oh, Yoshi story. Yeah. So good, good one. Oh, I don't know that one. I know Yoshi World. Yoshi's World. Yoshi story is good. I played that one a lot. So I'm gonna let this play out. This is, this rounds out our official list. 